Due to the graphic nature of this program, viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. This guy is driving a stolen Honda and uh, we saw him getting on the freeway. Ran his plate on computer and even before we turned the lights on, he took off. Okay, we're coming up to Yakima. Going about 70. Now we blew the red light and blew the four way at Park. Still eastbound, coming up to Pacific. We should have a unit with spike strips here. are about 50, we're coming up to 72nd. Westbound 72nd. When I tried to get up to pit him, he tried to ram me. He swerved right across, across the bow of the car. Southbound, right through 84. He's uh, turning on to 116. We're south on Spanaway Loop from 116. In the corners, I try and get close enough to pit him. He swings his car over and tries to take off the front of my car. He just rear-ended a car at 138, and we're going to run. Get in the car! Are you okay, sir? Sir, mm -hmm. we've got medical aid coming for you, okay? <laughs> this is the uh, stolen Honda we've been chasing for the last couple of minutes. He's got, uh, you can see the stock ignition is tucked in the, under the dashboard, and then he's got another one he had a key to, he just plugged in. So, 
did a pretty good job on the front end of this, uh, whoever's Honda this was. Search his car yet, or? Not yet. If uh, maybe there's more of a reason he ran from the police other than he was just in a stolen car. Make sure we do he doesn't have a lab or he doesn't have any guns or anything like that in here. We're closer. There's this broken drug pipe and a lighter. The marks on Kevin's car look like the guy actually ran into the side of his car. I think he probably did. Okay. I think he just, I think, because he took off from here, and I just, I mean, he's on the road. I don't, right. like, if I can run after him in a car, I will. And Kevin just cut him off. Yeah. And he just bunched into Kevin's, Kevin's hood and landed in the grass there. Okay. And yeah, then, he's got some marks on the side of his hood, and, it, like, yeah. Bad guy ran into Kevin. I tried to jump over his car and couldn't get over it. All right. So, Good all right, boss. Thank you. Here you go, sir. Here's your gauze to hold up there. What else does he need? Right now, that's it. It looks like he has a, a broken tooth and possibly a broken nose. Right. How are you? Yeah. Who are you? Derek? Did you know the police were behind you? Not at first? So at what point did you realize the police were back there? Right before I hit that car. Before you hit the car? Did you see the red and blue lights and all that? No, you didn't hear the siren? The stereo was up loud. It wasn't loud? Yeah. Okay. Is your leg hurt? I do believe it's broken. Okay. To whom does the car belong? I'm done answering the questions, thank you. Medical aid's on the way for you. We're done answering questions. The victim's going to be transported to St. Clair. OK. Uh, so I'll do, I'll handle this side over here. I got the toes coming. We'll get the slips done for both of them. So thanks for your help, man. All right, buddy. Transport bad guy to the hospital. He's got a sore leg from when he rear-ended the car that sits right back here at the intersection. The guy that got rear-ended's got a bloody nose, but uh, I think he'll probably be OK. And so we'll go follow up. And from the hospital, bad guy will go to jail. Dude, can you hold the net? I've got a stolen vehicle in front of me. I'll be at uh, 20th and Ringo. You have another unit? We got a stolen vehicle in front of us. I'm mean, stolen out of this. Stolen out of this department. Yeah, so he's supposed to be armed. We're trying to get another unit behind me before we blue light him. We're coming up on the MLK now. Put your hands on the steering wheel. Keep your hands on the steering wheel. Drop the coke. The Drop the coke. Keep your hands up. The car in the drive, man. Damn, man. Got it. Five two seven. You can cut it and clear the net. Roll over on your side. Roll over. Roll over. Roll, Roll over. over. I ain't done nothing, sir. Roll over. Oh, Kick him up against the car. Him. Right there. Man, can you do some car, sir? Why are you driving a stolen car, man? Man, his woman gave me this car. Why are you driving a stolen car? You thought about taking off, didn't you? No. Huh? No. I ain't done nothing wrong. Where's your gun at, man? You got no damn gun. You ain't got no gun? How come you didn't stop when I hit the blue lights? Boy, you, cause you just hit them. That's I right. hit the blue lights back there on MLK. Why are you just now stopping? I know you didn't, sir. I can see you. You got any guns or dope in the car? Anything we need to know about? Lean back. Save you. <laughs> no, I ain't done nothing, sir. What uh, motel is that to? My girlfriend had on. Who's your girlfriend? Turn around. Who's your girlfriend? Do me a favor and kick your shoes off. 
Whose car is this, man? The woman let me use the car. She still got my ID, sir. What woman is this? I don't know her name. You better start talking or you're fixing to get charged with it. And that's fine with me unless you want to start talking. Put I that in there. The dope house where she let me get the car. Though. You can take me to the dope house where she lets For you get show. the car. For show, that. For show. Yeah, yeah. Where's that at? On 28th and Harrison. 28th and Harrison? Yeah, What's yeah. that girl's name? I saw so I don't know her name. It's your girlfriend. She ain't my girlfriend. I'm talking about the crackhead that let me use this car. The crackhead that lets you use the car. Well, who is it? Because obviously she's the one that stole it, right? Yes, sir. I can take you to her. She got my ID and everything, sir. All right, come on. We'll go back here and talk to me in the car then. Talk to me. Well, you're gonna have to talk or you just get charged with it. That's fine with me. I could care less. Have a seat. All right, we'll be back to talk to you in a second. Are you the owner of the car? Yes, I am. Okay, what happened? Well, he was in the back seat with a um, gun and stuff, so I was... Um, what time, when did all this happen? It was probably about 4.35 in the morning. 4.35 o'clock in the morning? Where did Friday it happen? Friday morning. Where did this happen at? At the coastal on Asher, the coastal gas station. The coastal, okay. Uh-huh. And what happened? He was in the back seat, and he told me to drive, to take him where he wanted to go, and I was calming him down. I was telling him he could have that little old bucket. You know, I was just trying to let him know the car wasn't that important to me and that he can have it. Right. And so then he tried to give me his gun. He was like, well, I just want you to take me where I got to go and stuff. I'm like, no, you can just have this car take yourself where you want to go. And believe it or not, he gave me his ID and told me he was going to bring it back. He ever put the gun to your head or anything like that? When I got back in the car, he was laid back in the seat. I didn't see him until he jumped up with the gun and told me to drive drive him wherever he wanted to go. And I walked And gave you his home. ID? He gave me his ID. And said, I'll bring it back, it. or he what? He was like, I'll drop it off somewhere around the area um, later on that day. And don't call the police, because I'm going to kill you and your family on the blood. That's what he told me. You want to tell us uh, the real reason how you got this car now? So I'm telling you how I got the car, sir. OK, I wouldn't be asking you questions if I didn't already know, OK? So I'm telling you, I gave the woman some crack cocaine. Look, I'm not stupid. This is my first day on the job. How'd you get it? That's why I'm telling you how I got it, sir. Do you want me to tell you how you got it? You can't. Because I already know how you got it. Now, I, I just want to hear it from you. You got a felony warrant out on you from the I county. What I, I know what I got on me, man. So why don't you start talking so maybe we can help you out on some of this stuff? I'm telling you, sir, I was on 28th and Harrison. I gave the woman some crack cocaine for her car. And she said, sir, the car is not stolen. I said, well, hold my ID to bring it. When did you get back. it then? Um, last night at 12 o'clock. That's a lie. Are you going to tell me what I know, man? Because I'm, I'm telling you what I know. Man, I'll tell you two. I've been telling you two very since you stopped me. You're a professional. You're, you're a professional, aren't you? I gave her my ID, so I told her. Next time, leave your ID, ID at home when you carjack a vehicle, all right? I started telling you, smart dude, man. He's saying that he met you at somewhere on Harrison Street and pulled up to one of his buddies' house. Somebody drove him over there and met you in the street no, and no, no. gave you some crack cocaine and his driver's license to drive the car. No. And then you reported it stolen. No, no, no. I work every day and, and um, I don't do stuff like that. Right. I was going to well, that's what I'm saying. I mean, looking at you, I don't, you really don't uh, look like no, you're on I, crack cocaine. No. So, all right, well, what we're going to have to do is you're going to have to go down, follow us, follow the police car, down to the detective division downtown. You have to go down there and give a statement. You're going to have to pick this guy out of a photo spread. Okay. This is a uh, photo lineup, and I want you to tell me if there's anybody in here that looks familiar to you, okay? That one. Okay. And who is number two? The one that had the gun. Okay. When did he have a gun? The one who carjacked me. Okay. No, that's him. That's him? Uh -huh. Okay. Positively identified number two. Good job. Good job, Barbara. She picked it out real quick, didn't she? Yeah, she picked number two immediately. As soon as you laid it down on there. Yeah, and I had two pieces of paper here, so she couldn't see through it. So right. Um, she definitely knows who he is. She said she rode around with him for like an hour, two hours last night. She said she wouldn't have a problem picking him out, and, and she didn't. She didn't. <laughs> she nailed him. Now we're gonna stop this uh, Bronco that's in front of us. He's got one headlight and no tail lights. It's stolen. Four fourteen County Priority. We're northbound on uh, OK Highway, about 288, North Adam King, I'm getting a stolen hit. Northbound, 
Now we ran the plate before we pulled it over. The vehicle's stolen. Uh, I'm gonna wait for another unit before we uh, try to stop it here. I'm gonna light him up here. Okay, he's gonna stop. We're gonna be just east. Driver, put your hands out the window. Okay, reach in and grab the keys. Put them on top of the rig. Okay, exit the vehicle. Turn around, put your hands in the air, all the way up. Spin 360 degrees for me. Turn around, stop. Walk backwards to the sound of my voice. Keep coming, keep coming, stop. Down on your knees, cross your ankles. Put your hands on top of your head, put your hands on top of your head. Sit straight up for me, okay? Just stay right like that. Don't move. Uh -huh. Okay, stand up. What did I do, officer? Well, we'll talk about that here in just a second, okay? Okay. Any sharps can put me, cut me, or stick me. No, I don't think so. Anybody else in there? No, it looks like it was just him. Anybody else in there? Nope. Okay, what's Are your you name? Yeah. Josh. Josh. Okay, have a seat, don't touch nothing. Uh -huh. You have the right to remain silent, and you say can and will be used against you in court of law. You have right this time, talk to an attorney, have him present with you, I mean, question. You understand that? Yes. Okay, you understand the rig you're driving stolen? I did not know that, sir. You didn't know that? No. Well, who'd you get it from? A guy named Tony drives a black Bronco. Where's Tony at? I don't know. Okay. Well, it's stolen. You're driving it. So downtown you go. Okay? It is, yeah. All right. Let's grab a seat in there for me. We know him. He's got picked up by Deputy Eldridge for driving another stolen car a while back. So we'll search it here and see what else he's got. Here's his ID. Okay. He claims he doesn't know it was stolen. Yeah, right. This is the second one. He said he got it from Tony. Sure he did. He knows exactly what to say. Seems this is the second time I've gotten him. Keys were on top of the roof. Number answer 2149. There it is. Oh. Yeah, I don't know it's stolen, but the key's bent and shaved. Yeah. It's a bent key and shaved down, and they use them to steal rigs like that. So, Let me start a more likely he knew it was stolen because he's got a shaved down key, yeah. So we'll need a tow. Who's going to transport him? Whatever you need, man. Cool. What do you got? Josh? Can I put him in somebody else's rig? I'll put him in your rig. All right. You will take it. My wallet in there? Yeah, we'll get it. Okay, hey Josh. Yeah. Come here. How can you know that rig's not stolen? I don't know. Where'd you get the key? From Tony. From Tony? It was in the ignition when I got it. How come it's all bent up like that? I have no idea. I didn't do it. Okay, you didn't do it? You're no, driving I it. I borrowed it. Okay, didn't Deputy Eldridge just get you out another stolen rig? I wasn't. Uh, yeah, I did, mm -hmm. but I didn't steal the rig. I'm not saying you stole it, but you had to know it was stolen. I did not know, honestly. Okay, I mean, you got a shaved down bent key. I didn't do it. Okay. Honestly, I know. Okay, well, you're driving it, so you're I... going down for possession of stolen property. Last time I got you for a stolen, right? Why do all these stolens keep popping up around I you? I don't know. I just you don't back have a job. The... Yes, I do. Okay. I just got did a you job. Just start it? I just okay. got a job last so week. So you have an income coming in yes, weekly? Yes, I do. How, how much did you pay for that truck? I didn't pay nothing for it. I borrowed the vehicle. So you keep borrowing these stolen vehicles? <laughs> no. Uh, the last one, you Make know what to do. Make me understand, Josh, because this is the, the second time. I borrowed the vehicle because it was my first day off in 10 days. Uh -huh. I just started the job. Okay. I was down at the lake partying. Okay. Campfire beers, you know, the deal. Okay. Okay. I came. I was coming up here to see if a friend of mine wanted to come down. Okay. Okay. I'm following you. Keep going. I borrowed the vehicle from a dude in a black Bronco named Tony. Just push bumpers on the front. It, it just it just amazes me that how all these stolen vehicles just keep wandering up wandering in your it's, possession like they do. I don't know. I don't, I don't Honestly, know either. I don't know. I'm trying to straighten my act. How many I times have you been arrested for stolen vehicles in the past? One. Okay. Then and you I got convicted 16. for? Yeah. Okay. I was 16 years you, old. Are you seeing the pattern here? You, yeah, you want I know. to believe you, but it's a little hard. I, I understand that, officer. 
but honestly, I didn't steal it. I know I got a bad rap sheet, but that. Okay, well I'm not saying you stole one, but you're you know you're in possession of it. I'm you in had possession to know something of it. was wrong with that. No, I didn't. Somebody just says, here, oh here, no, just drive this. A, a, I was in work release with a guy and <laughs> that well, should be I, your clue, you're in work release with yeah, him. Yeah, but he, he's been on the straight and narrow. Honestly. Well, obviously he's not on the straight and narrow. I guess so. Okay. It's, well you better give Martin the, all the info you can give him on Tony. Okay, if Tony all exists. I know. Tony does exist. Okay, but that's, well we'll find out if he does. Alright? Okay, well, he's going to jail tonight. He's been picked up in a couple of stolen cars before. Um, he claims not to know it was stolen, but he's got a shave down key and stuff like that. So uh, if you're going to be driving stolen cars, make sure you have all your lights working. I've been uh, Pierce County Sheriff's Deputy for just a little over six years, about five of it in the city of Lakewood. Late last year, I was activated for a, about a year and uh, sent over to the Middle East to support the global war on terrorism. And one of the things that I did was because the department was so supportive, uh, I carried a U.S. flag into one of the countries I went into and brought it back and presented it to the police chief and it's hanging in the precinct. Where is he at right now? Northbound approaching 84th lane 2. I'll wait for you. Um, there's a vehicle up here. I noticed a driver from earlier. He's got a possible felony warrant. We contacted him earlier in the evening, and he apparently lied to us about his name, so we're going to conduct a traffic stop on him and see what we can come up with. 363 County Traffic. Parking lot of the B&I on Adam. How you doing? Here's the deal, man. Okay, we talked to you earlier. Yeah. Put your hands on the steering wheel for me. Okay, when my partner ran you, came back as no computer record, then, it, okay, wait a minute, let me talk to you first. Through further investigation, after we left you, records got a hold of him saying that you might be under another name, okay? So, what I want you to do is put the cigarette out, and then we're gonna come out and we're gonna talk. All right, when you step out of the vehicle, keep your hands where I can see them and move to the back of the vehicle. Okay, come on back here. Okay, turn around, turn around, put your hands on the vehicle. 30 feet for me. I'm going to detain you right now. Okay. And then we're going to find out who you really are. Let me have your other hand. Oh, you got an ID on? Come on back here. Actually, you don't? Okay. I didn't lie to you. I gave you my name. You're talking about Darren. Is Darren your brother? That's your brother? Yeah. Okay. What's your first name? David. Okay, I'm still giving you the benefit okay. of that. We're going to pull up booking photos and find out who you are. Okay. He's my twin brother. Your twin brother. Yeah. Okay. We'll find out. If it's your brother that has the warrant, then we'll deal with it. The person matching the description of the warrant looks just like you with the tattoos. Hey, Joe. Yeah. Why don't you look at that picture on my computer screen? Did you have to tell me I have one detained? No, go ahead. 363 County, one detained. You want to take him back there and just take a quick look? Yes, your warrant is confirmed. No, they all escape community Have a seat in here for a second. Wait a minute, hold tight here. Let's take a look out here. I know, I'm just gonna have him sit down. Sit down. He says his brother. Okay, according to the warrants. Look at the mark. Okay, you're going to jail for felony warrant for obstructing a police officer. I'm Darren. You're Darren. So we're gonna end playing this game now, and you're telling me that this is you. Okay, what's the deal? Man, I've been fighting, got my kid back. Did you know you had a felony warrant? No, I didn't. Who's that gal in the car with you? I don't know her name. Where did Dave, you? Dave just asked me to give her a ride. Where did you meet her at? At New York, Dave's. Okay. All right, watch your head. So much for having a twin brother. I'm going to talk to her again. Let's pull her out, put her on your bumper until we figure out who she is. I'm going to search the vehicle. Also, I'm going to red shirt hiding bicycles circling the area. Go ahead and turn around, put your hands behind your back. I'm just detaining you right now. May 29. Is there anything in the car that belongs to you that we should know about? Step back. You're not under arrest. You're just being detained until we figure out who you are. Okay? That's your purse right there, right? That's your cousin's purse? Are you telling me that because there might be something in there that shouldn't be? Like what? Go ahead and turn around. Have a seat. Turn around. Go ahead. Go ahead. There's a... We're going to find it anyway, so I know. go ahead, tell me what's in it. There's a rig in there. 
Okay. Careful in the purse. Why? It's a rig. What? You get stuck with a needle, maybe. What? What do you have There's on There's a her? rig in there. Okay. Did she tell you that? Yeah. This one might be blank, I'm not really sure. No, it looks like there's a little bit of blood draw in there, so there's some type of material in there. There's probably some more stuff in here. John, I've got an ID on her, too. What did she give you? Let's see that one. I don't know if this is her or not. This looks a little bit different. Is that her? Looks Tracy. Oh, look, look at that, two different names. Same picture, two different dates of birth, two different names, two addresses. Talk to her real quick. Wait a minute. Here. Here's a. She's got one, five IDs under the same name. Different driver's licenses and different dates of birth. Each with a different booking number under, at the Pierce County Jail. So, this is going to keep. Just keep going. Come on out for a second. Hop on out. You want to talk to me about these? Well, it's not a joke because. I know, no, wait a minute, a joke, stop. Please. Two of these IDs you actually have Washington State IDs for with your photo. I know. So it's not a joke. Know, okay, what's up with these? Those, me the, okay, those are pretty good IDs. What's up with the rest of these? Do you have Washington State IDs under all these pictures? Because no, it sure looks like you do. No. Why do you have multiple IDs? You trying to hide something? You have warrants for what? We'll find out. We'll be here all night. Failed you failed BTC, so you have felony warrants for failing BTC no, for what? Go. What type of what type of drug? Methamphetamine. Okay, how long have you known you had the warrant for? So, are any of these actually you, minus the photo? No, sir. None of these. Not one of these is you. No, so you provided false information originally, right? Yes, I did. Okay. Okay. Well, if we confirm the warrant, you're going to be going down with your partner. That's going to go into evidence. So you're going to go for the warrant and for obstruction, just like he is. All right? Go ahead and have a seat. Watch your head. Well, she might get a couple years in the penitentiary for this. If she's failed the drug treatment, I think that was her final straw. So she's down that road, and he's already been down that road and neither of them know what to do to recover from it. So the cycle continues. Go ahead, give it to me. We'll take care of it. We're on our way to a residence. Uh, apparently, uh, the homeowner there has found a snake in her closet. And uh, she's called us to come down. And I guess she wants us to help her get it out of the house, uh, maybe dispose of it for her. So we're going to head on down there. We're not too far away. And see what kind of snake she's got cornered and see if we can't catch it and uh, dispose of it for her. What's going on? Uh, I got a snake in my closet. You got a snake in your mom, closet? Please, she'll take off. OK. Got my, got you, got a, you got a snake in your? I got my crap all over the table. He's in that whole closet. It's a baby, it's baby black. It's, it's black, and it's got orange and gold bands. OK. Uh, all right. Do you he's need a, a towel or something? No. He's no. in there. He's right in here? Yeah, I can turn the whole light on. OK. God love you guys. Where's he at? I don't know. He didn't, I just saw him sliver in there. You saw him sliver in? Yes. Okay. No, he's got to be in here somewhere. Bottom. He's got to be in here somewhere. You need a glove or something? No, I don't think so. It's just a baby. It's a beautiful snake. But I don't know what his ass in my house. <laughs> well, how did you I notice him? I can't help it, Mom. Where, I'm freaking out. Where did you notice him at? Was, was he just, I mean, was he, was he coming through the hallway? No, he was coming from the kitchen and the, and the there. All right. Oh, my God. But he couldn't have climbed up the wall already, could he? Have? I don't think he would have climbed up the walls. We sure climbed up the steps. How else could he got in my house? Do you oh, think he, he could have slid under this back door? Could have. Could oh, have. I gotta get some kind lots of snake of place, away or lots something. Lots of places he could have came in. He's not in your snake basket. <laughs> I got my mom itching now. <laughs> 
I think where he probably went, there's a couple spots in here. I think he probably might have crawled down in the basement. Yeah, he might be down in the basement. Oh, please, little snake. Oh. I don't think the snake would have, would have, or could have climbed up the the wall there. So I think what he may have done is he may have gone down between the baseboards. There's a nice wide gap between the baseboard and the back here. You got a hammer? I could pull these baseboards okay. up for you real quick and check. So tell me, what, what were you doing? I was cleaning, I was rock and rolling, um, getting my act together here. Okay. And also. And I just walked through here and forgot I had to get something out of there. And this year I turned around and he curled right into that closet. I see him. Oh, God love you. I see his tail. Don't now I see that the snake, I see his tail. He's curled up back behind his piece oh, of baseboard. God. So I'm gonna have to take this other do what you piece do. of. All these woods around here, and he's gotta pick my cloth to find a home. Come on up, little guy, please. Okay, I don't see him. Hmm. <laughs> we'll bully this tomorrow at work. Oh my God! <laughs> They're not gonna believe it. Tell you what, let's go downstairs real quick. Might have crawled down in the basement. Yeah, he might be down in the basement. Oh my God! There he is. Where? Right there. Oh no! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It was that wire. That wire, and it freaked me out. Sorry. All right, it's kind of moving. freaking me out. You're gonna freak out. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's all right. So the snake's buried himself. We actually did a pretty good number on the uh, the closet with her permission to try and locate the snake, but so far we haven't been able to find him. Um, I really am kind of kind of afraid to go make, do any more damage to her to her house here. I mean, she was awful frightened about the snake. I really would have liked to have got him. Whew. Well, yeah, I'm sorry we weren't able to find your snake, especially after all the, the damage we caused to your, it's not a problem. To your wall there. But... I'm calmer now. I'm gonna go take my shower. I got my cat, one cat at the edge of the bed, my dog, and I know I'm calmer now. I'm not afraid. I'll get him. Well, I'm glad of that. If he's not poisonous, I'll get him out. God love you. I'll give you a hug. Yeah, you're welcome. You guys do a fantastic job. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you. All righty. Okay. You take care. You too. All right? You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I'll be okay. Well, I feel bad for the, for the young lady because we tore up her whole closet and we weren't able to find a snake. Is he, is he's he? out. He's out. He's out. Look in the corner. In the corner. In the corner. In the corner. I don't have my there flashlight. He Here he is. is. Oh my god. Oh my god. You want this uh, wash rag? Uh, isn't he pretty? Isn't he pretty? What is he? Here, put him I'm around. I'm not exactly toilet sure thing. here. Oh my God! Oh, I don't want to get careful. Oh, jeez! You want my toilet thing? Oh God! Look at him. He wants to strike. Oop. Oh, be careful, please. Here you go. I got him. I got him. You got him? Okay, I'll yeah. get the door. We were on our way out the door after we uh, no, tore this young lady's no, closet no. all to pieces and no, weren't able to find a snake. And he decided to make an appearance as we were leaving. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what kind of snake this is. See, do you think, um, I've never seen one he's like that. He's a pretty little snake. Isn't he pretty? He's so just I'm, a baby. So what I'm gonna oh do God, is, I was so too wrong on the colors. I'm gonna take too him wrong. outside, out into the, Where the, hell did I get the yard and just let him go. There he goes. Oh, where is he going? Well, I'm glad he decided to come back out before oh, we left. Can you believe that? I was going in there and I was just going to think, well, what am I going to do? I'll get, I'll get some of this dust up, and there he was, curled up. Well, it makes me. Makes oh, 
<laughs> makes me feel better after I tore your closet all apart that he finally came out and we were able to get him. Oh, God, I love uh, you. Thank you. I like working on the crime response team over here in the East Division. We stay busy with felons. We're always dealing with drug dealers, some gang bangers every once in a while. The good thing is we're responsible for all the part one crimes in the East Division. And we don't have to take patrol calls so we can concentrate on what needs to be done and, and taken care of out here. OK, we're in route to a burglary in prog progress. Uh, apparently, uh, as a citizen broke down, his truck was broken down the side of the road. And there's uh, some guys hanging around the truck trying to break into it. So we're going to go see what's going on. Supposed to be a couple of black males taking tires out of a pickup truck. OK, we're about to move in on this uh, vehicle with the guys. What kind of car are they have? Bulls are about to pull out. Looking at the brake lights on now. Try the fence. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Right here, right here. Right here. One in the black, one in the black, one in the black. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Get your hands Get on up. The Get your hands now. up. Get your hands up. Get your hands up. Get out the car. Put them back. Get out the car. Put your car in park. All right, sir. Get on the ground. Get your hands behind your back. Yes, sir. You got cuffs? Yeah. Don't move. Roll back towards me. Stand up. You want to stick him in a secure car? Oh, yeah. Come on, please, sir. Please, sir. Please. We got them all. Hey, we got them all. I guess. Matter going to, right? Yeah. You know where you're going to get them. You do? Okay. okay. These are the tires that the individuals attempted to take. Um, as you can see, they loaded them up. We got two in the back, one in the front, and they were going to. I guess uh, make a nice little profit off of them. But uh, unfortunately, the police intervened, and we got them. So they won't be robbing anybody else tonight. That's good work. Tell me what was going on back there. Yeah, the dude told me, if you use my car, he's going to pay me to pay me in full to get them rims. He told me, he seen the dude when he pulled up. He was like, man, go talk, go talk to him. He said, I'll pay you in full. Okay. I said, man, I just got this car, man. You trying to get my car stopped? Man, that's why I'm young, man, money. I just, man, I just got a system in my car. Money rule the world, man. I swear to God, I got a job, a nine to five, and everything, man. Money talk, walk. I swear to God, I don't sell dope or nothing. I smoke weed, sir. Right. I heard a good amount of price. The dude told me give me five one hundred dollar bills, sir. I'm trying to but take. But still went through with price. that anyway. No, sir. That's, okay. I, he took one of the rims just to make sure I wouldn't steal the car. Where's he? I don't know. I I never seen him. He talked me into doing it. Okay. Right over there. Right. Bought me a six pack and everything. He was like, man, all I need is your car. I ain't got no car. Tell me he's calling the shop. Okay. I knew it had to be. Something Do you know cool. this guy? No, I don't know the guy. 500 cash, you don't got to know the dude. And right. a six pack? Right. Yeah. Well, you've just gotten yourself involved in a felony. Now we can seize your car. Now it'll belong to the police department. I worked hard for that car. I paid $1,000 cash. Well, you know what? <clears throat> Whosoever wheels those were worked hard for those, and you just stole them. So what do you think about that? Man. It's the same difference. We take your car, you take those wheels. Except we're doing it legally, and you're not. Can I, can I call my mama, man? Mama. Right now, you're going to go down on a theft charge, 1500 to 20000 which is a felony. You're going to have to go down to jail. You'll see a judge tonight. He'll set your bond, and then you'll be de transferred down to the Mansfield jail. We're going to be held down there until you can post your bond. Do you have somebody you can call? Yes, sir. My mom will stay right down the street on 4 day normal block. Okay. Yeah, I was sitting right in front of my house a while ago. I knew something had to be up. Stick your feet in there for me. What we're going to do is put these tires back where they belong and uh, try to get in touch with the uh, registered owner of the vehicle. He probably He's probably not too far away. Seeing that uh, it looks like his truck broke down. Pretty sure he'll be probably he'll be thankful that he uh, recovered his property. If we don't find the owner of the tires and the wheels and the pickup truck, we're gonna take it down to the auto impound and uh, we'll hold it down there for safekeeping until he comes and claims it. What's the story? What story? The story with them tires that we caught you with. Yeah, it is. You ain't got to sit up in that crazy with me, okay? 
For real. You gotta act crazy. I ain't finna talk, yeah. man. I heard you saying he talked like a bird. I don't talk, man. I, I didn't say no. that. I heard it, man. You heard it? Yeah, man. Okay. So that's what that's the story you gonna stick with? The story I just That you said. sticking with? I ain't saying You ain't saying nothing. That's a good thing, though. Don't say nothing. Yeah. He the ringleader. His, uh, his buddy told him that it was his idea and everything, so it's all going on him, because he won't say nothing to us. Thanks. Appreciate it. We had three out of the four tires were in the car, and then the second bad guy rolled this tire about halfway down the block behind this apartment building. He was, the deal that he made with the other guy was that he was going to keep this as insurance until he got all the wheels. So we'll go down here and take a look at that and recover that, get it back to its rightful owner. Here it is. Yeah, it looks like it's all intact, so hope it's any. I guess he was going to possibly throw it over that gate where they have that hole in the wall. Yeah, it looks like these guys live in the complex, and maybe they've been scouting out this area and saw the guy broke down and walk away from his car, and they decided it'd be an easy grab, four wheels and tires. Now they just landed themselves in jail. 911 emergency, Bentley 7811. Yes, ma'am, I need officers in my house right now. If I have juveniles in my driveway. Um, they're messing with their vehicles in their driveway, and I have them on video. Oh, and we got them in the vehicle, too. We got the vehicle. You've got one that you're holding there? Yes. Oh, they're, they're leaving. They're attempting to leave. Oh, my God, they've got him attached to the vehicle. What? They've got my husband attached to the vehicle. They're taking off. They're heading... Your husband's holding on to the vehicle? Yes. Oh, my God, they just left. Okay, well, we'll get out there as soon as we can. I'll go ahead and let you go. Okay, thank you. Thanks. Right now, we're heading to a call. Apparently, some juveniles vandalize the person reporting's home. And the person reporting is now clinging to their vehicle. And the vehicle is trying to escape while the person's still stuck to it. We've got a unit that's arriving out with the vehicle right now. You want to disregard that? I forgot what George is already gone. How you doing? I'm talking. What's going on, man? I don't know. We were just um, messing around with my girl. The girls were there. We were just toilet paper in his tree. Okay. And then he came out threatening us and then like all this stuff. And he punched me a couple times, so I tried to take off. Okay. And he was hanging on to the gear shift and messing it all up, and he broke it off. Okay. Why would you keep driving if he was hanging on to your vehicle? Well, I was thinking I he might I just... be able to kill somebody doing that. Yeah, but I didn't want to get hurt or nothing. He was punching me too. He says it's my lips going fat right now. He says you guys were urinating on his car. Was that happening or no? I wasn't no. urinating on his car. George, okay. Okay. Did you do any kind of drugs or anything? I stopped smoking weed just little recently. Okay, who's, who's might that be? What? A little bottle of weed that's in the car. I have no idea. No, you don't know. Okay. Not yours. No. I had just stopped like last week because I got in trouble for it. So I went cold turkey last week, huh? Okay. You been arrested as an adult? No. All right, so what I want you to do, I want you just to stand there in front of your truck and put your hands in the hood and leave them there for now, okay? Be the one that was flailing from the vehicle there? Yeah. As soon as I came out and they started running, I got the girl by the collar on their sweater. Okay. Right? So I grabbed her and I stopped her. Everyone else jumped in and the kids started to take off. I said, no, you're not going anywhere. I put my hand in, I put it in park. I said, wait here until the police come. Okay. I said, you better look roll the window down. I said, I'm gonna rip this window out. Okay. No, you won't. I said, yes, I will, and I pulled the window like I was gonna break it. He's like, okay, dude, okay, dude. And he rolled the window down. And then he's like, you better step back. And he's revving the engine and he threw it in drive. I said, you ain't going nowhere. He started taking off. So I grabbed onto the car and I'm going. He's like, dude, see that truck there? You better jump off now. And he swerved to the truck. I felt the truck go by in my back. I was like, oh, dude. I said, you better stop now. And I grabbed it. When he came around the corner and I threw it in park and the truck's making this noise. And it's come to a stop. He's like, stop, stop, and he's trying to put it back in gear. So I punched him in the face, and I threw it, and I then just ripped the gear shift off, and this is where it ended. Were you in fear of your life or anything at oh, that point, or? I wasn't until he said, dude, see that truck? You better get off, and when, I swear, I thought I was gonna be clipped. Was your arm stuck in the window? Yes. Okay. I'm just okay. still scared. <laughs> All right, go ahead and throw your shirt on there, and just hang tight for a second, okay? All right. Okay, ma'am, you want to kind of show me uh, 
terror these kids ran on your house here? What, in the camera, I saw um, the, the boy come up to the vehicle. He walked up to the front of the vehicle, decided to take the leak at, at the front wheel. Um, the one girl, I don't know which girl, it was in with the ponytail, started toilet papering the, uh, the tree there. Um, when I saw, saw that, that's when I went and, and, and got my husband and said, you know, those kids are here. We thought they were the other set of kids. Where are your cameras at? Um, <laughs> hidden pretty good, aren't they? <laughs> One's right up there in the corner. Okay. One's right there in the corner. I have one at the front door. Okay. And one on that um, the far end of the house. You want to show us that video then? Yeah, come okay. on in. Okay. It's a little warm right now. That's okay. You might have more, but I might get them on this console. This is the right here. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to get them. How you doing, bud? Yeah. Excitement, huh? It's weird. I woke you, up and I looked outside. You, like, you know these jokers? We yeah. don't know. Yeah, he'll, he'll see if he can identify them. This is where um, it's, it's going to start. You'll see the vehicle come across, and then from there. See who they come all for. He goes up the side. See, he's already going. Oh, he decides okay, to take it that way. First. On the back tire first. Yeah, but this is the driver. You can clearly he see him urinating right there on the on Right, the and you can clearly see her toilet paper yeah, and everything. It's like, <laughs> does that look like Zach? I don't know. But does he really drive a gray Dodge? Back tire. Okay. If you want to walk us back out there, what we'll do is we'll give a property report and we'll give you a receipt for the tape. Okay. Okay. I don't know what happened to the box to it. Okay. Yeah. All right, Casey. So nobody else gets wrapped something that's yours. Is the marijuana yours? Okay. okay. Did you urinate on the pickup truck in the driving way? In the driveway? Okay. Did you drive down the street with this guy hanging out your window? Go ahead and spread your feet apart from me, Casey. Put your hands behind your back. Put your palms together. Okay, Casey, at this time, we're going to place you under arrest for uh, essentially for urinating on the vehicle, as well as battery with a deadly weapon for running this gentleman into a parked vehicle while he was stuck on your vehicle, and also possession of uh, less than an ounce of marijuana. This is one prank gone horribly, horribly bad. You know what could have happened if that man got ran over or fell and got underneath that truck? Yeah, All this for some toilet paper. Okay, so go and have a seat. Watch your head when you sit down. Okay, great. great. Sir, just a bit of advice. Regardless of what they did, Bad decision to go hanging onto the truck yeah. when the truck's driving down the street, um, especially since you have it on tape. Yeah. And that's the whole reason not yeah. to, to do that. He could have ran you into the parked oh, vehicle. You could have gotten close. killed or seriously injured, and it could have been a lot worse. Best thing to do if that ever comes across again, you got the video evidence of it. If they want to run, get the license plate. Just a little smarter decision in the future, okay? Yeah. All right, but good job. Good Thank citizens you. arrest there. <laughs> Cut people going to jail tonight. Thank you. I'm going to... Uh, Back an officer, I'm not sure how far off he is, but uh sounded like a loud disturbance. Uh lady was uh calling for police and uh sounded like there was a bunch of people in the background yelling and screaming, so we don't know what we have really yet. Uh I guess a call taker uh couldn't get enough info in time, so uh but it could be a fighter, something like that. So we'll find out when we pull up here in just a second. How you doing, ma'am? Did you call 911? Yes, sir. I sure did. Okay. What's going on? This woman in my house, she can't I need somebody to take me out of here. Till I'm 90 years old. She I know. Said. Yeah. She's 90 years she, old. You know. She I'll asked me to stay and I've been here a friend of her. And, and, him, uh, and she stabbed me a while ago because we was talking. Because she was raising the devil with me. Okay. She did what? She stabbed you? She stabbed you. me with a knife. She got it now. 
because she, she got a knife. Let me yeah, see this. She raised the Let me devil see that. With me. Let me see that. Thank you. She was raising the devil with you. I had to do something. See, that's a have you been right now? woman, and I'm nine. I'm old. 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 Okay. This woman, she ain't right. Okay. She Does she live with you? Here. She been. I've been a, welcome her in here. Okay. And then she go get. I'm in with her three months trying to eat for her. You know what's good yeah. for her? Been in here running over me. She don't want to talk to me. I'm still. I don't know how bad it is. I'm hurt. Come in and hurt me. Okay. Sure ain't. I ain't gonna let her she had to stab me for no reason. Okay. I'm a 90 years old. It's 23rd of September, September, which is 9th the 23rd. I will be 91. Ma'am, how much you had to drink this evening? Who, me? Yes, ma'am. I drank a little beer. I ain't had that much. You had, you had a little I'm beer this sure. evening? That's her whiskey, what they got. Okay, how did it start? It started off with her son. I tell them about her son. She ought not tell everybody about it. Okay, and, and that made what, you mad? That's what made her mad. It made her mad, and then her. what made you pick up a knife, though? No, she started on me then. Did she, What did she do to you? She ain't done nothing to me. She okay. started on me. A young woman like that, 50 years old, you think I'm gonna straight up and let her do something to me? By words. That's that's basically what we're, we, she, she was well, saying certain words to you that made you upset, is that right? Right, right. Okay. So right. That, that made you feel like you needed to grab a knife and that do a little bit of it. Oh, well, she do it to me. Okay. So you felt like you needed to defend yourself? I defend myself before she did it. Okay. Well, that's that's a little harsh to pick up a knife and defend yourself over I somebody saying me. certain words to you. So well, let's did. let's understand. I'm not sure if the alcohol might have produced a little bit of it, that's but just have a seat right there on the couch, okay? Got a problem. All right. Did you get that knife? Tell my she yeah, got a problem. Okay. She got a, I'm um, got a problem. She the winning problem. Telling you all about what me. it started all about about. Let me tell you what it started about. I told her she ought not to tell folks about her son because she his mother. You can't He's tell me about son. my child. I don't know about your child. She's but you're not related. Uh -uh. You're not That's related not in any way. She strutted it all around. Her son's a punk. I told her she was And I talked to you me. about it. Okay, hey, we don't need to shout in here, okay? Well, you're already, you're already, you're already hurt. She's yeah, just right. telling me her side of the story. That's yeah. it, okay? There's All no right. sense in to get loud you in here. Right about that, All right. You right. So let's show a little respect, okay? All right. Uh, 91 year old lady. She uh, has a friend over, and they've been doing a little bit of drinking, and uh, got to talking about her son. Uh, I guess the lady started talking about her son being a punk, and. This lady said, you don't need to be talking about your kid like that. And she got mad and she started saying, you know, little argument words going on. She felt threatened by that. So she went and grabbed a big old knife and felt she needed to defend herself. And she came up and stabbed her while she was sitting on the, uh, on the couch, put a nice little gash right there in her arm, puncture hole. Uh, they're gonna look at her and treat her. And then uh, we got this 91 year old lady. I mean, she's, uh, you know, it's pretty much a good battery charge. So. We're gonna have to go ahead and do what we gotta do and arrest her. Yeah, she know where she's at right now. Do you explain to her the kind of consequences of what's going on? Over she's there? coherent. I mean, I, I explained to her that you know that there's no need in you know using violence towards somebody just over an argument. Um, so, but we haven't told her that you know that we're we're gonna have to take her to jail. I mean, she, you know, it's a it's a violent crime, and you know, I've, I've explained that part to her, but she doesn't know she's going to jail yet. So, victim, uh, she gonna be go down the. I think she's going to the hospital. Yeah, she's, oh, she's gonna have to go to the hospital. hospital. She's gonna oh, have yeah. to have a couple stitches yeah. to close it back up. Yeah, yeah, it's a pretty good little good. Let's gash. go ahead and get her and. Uh, Take her down the deal since you've already talked to him. We'll okay. Go from there. Ma okay. Have you got a key to your house? Yes, sir. We're going to go ahead and need to lock the door right now because we're fixing to have to go downtown to the detective division and do some paperwork on you. You're going to be under arrest for, for battery. Let's go. Let's go. We'll find, we'll find something to lock it up with, okay? We'll, we'll try to call the housing authority and see if they have a key, a spare key to come lock it up. Okay? All right. Okay. Did you find a key? No. Do we have any kind of contact number for the housing authority? She stabbed one of her friends. Okay, miss, do you understand once more, as I explained to you a minute ago, why you're going to jail, right? 
kill me again. <laughs> okay, you're going to jail because you stabbed your friend with that knife, okay? She wasn't and that's, friend of mine. That, no, that, she wasn't. that is a battery charge. That's a violent crime to, towards somebody, okay? Yes, so sir. that's why you're going to jail. And all she right? was a roommate. Exactly. So I we, hope she ain't no more roommate issue. Well, we're going to have to get her evicted. I wish so. We'll, we'll get her out, but right now that's why we're having to take you to jail. Okay? Be careful sitting in there, because it's going to be a hard seat when you get in, but I'll hold on to you when you're getting in. All right, you're in. She was pretty lucky. The wound was actually pretty minor yeah. come, uh, for what it could have been. 91-year-old wow. seems like it's pretty old to be going to jail. Bless your heart. Uh, right now, we've just been dispatched to a call. Uh, details of the call are uh, a young lady happened to be driving down Boulder Highway with a friend of hers. She just observed her vehicle that she reported stolen about a week ago, uh, driving in opposite directions. She's now currently behind that vehicle, so we're going to try to attempt to catch up with them and uh, conduct a uh, felony car stop on the stolen vehicle. Okay, units, code red this channel for the 411A. Two Johns with them. We'll be 467 on at Walgreens. We copy. Out of the window. Open it from the outside. Put your hands, hands to the sky. Passenger, put your hands up. Walk back to the car. Around backwards. Around. Passenger, get out of the car. Alright, uh, just got anybody rolling codes. Over there. On your knees, face the same direction. Okay. Hands on your back, palms together. On your knees. Got it. Two John, we're code four, lift the red. Go ahead, stand up. In front of that car there. Face the car. Okay, how do you know him? He how do you know him? He's friend of mine's house. Do you know his name? His name is Brian. Um, Speak up, I can't hear you. He's probably given me a ride maybe two times. Okay, is this Brian's car here? I'm assuming so. Okay. Is it obviously not? Well, the car's been reported stolen, so. Oh, Is my this God, your purse here? Me? Is that your purse? Yes, sir, yes. Sir. How about that backpack? Does that backpack belong to you? Yes. Okay. Are you my, you the victim here? Yes, sir. That's your vehicle? Yes, sir, it is. What happened? Um, he, we were at a hotel. We came out, and I went to give the key, and he jumped in the driver's seat and took off. How do you know him? Um, I met him at the casino, and he he was telling me he he knew somebody that would give him two hundred dollars for <laughs> pictures, and would I be interested in taking the pictures for uh -huh. him? And I said, yeah. All right. So he took the pictures for him. And then we were leaving, got out of the car like an idiot, left the keys in the car, and he jumps in. And he's gone. He's gone. And then right now, I saw him, and I knew it was my car because of the front driver's tire. And you also recognized him. And I said, the tire, the tire, and the driver's side window is also broken. OK. And we just followed him, and yay! Well, you got your car back, but next time when you meet someone that you oh, don't, I don't want to know, meet anybody anymore. like I said, quick money's not always good money. Exactly. I... You know, fortunately for you, it worked out on your side to where at least you got your vehicle back. Well, this all worked out well. Now, how did you meet her? Casino. OK. How did all this come about? You met her doing what? Yeah. OK. And then what happened? We went. You went to her room? OK. And, and why did you go to her room? Party. Went to party. Drugs party or drink party or what do you mean party? Yeah, maybe a little bit. Hmm? 
A little bit. A little bit of both? OK. What's the story behind these pictures? You're supposed to be making money off someone that wanted pictures of you? I was supposed to be making money off someone that wanted pictures of me? Someone was supposed to pay you pictures for you? I don't know what she tells you about that. I have no idea what she told you about that. I mean, it was, well, I mean, there's nothing to be ashamed of. If someone wants to pay for pictures of you, yeah, I no, mean, it's not like that. You know, what we were doing, we were there because we were partying. Okay? That's okay. what we were there for. We, not me. Pictures end up being taken. Is it going to be of her and you, or just of you? Um, and does she have the camera now, or do you? No, have the it? camera got thrown away. I do believe well, maybe that you know of. There might have been. No, it got thrown away. Okay. But if, as far as just me, no, maybe there was something of her. I'm okay. Maybe or there was. There might have been a couple snapshots of her. Yeah. Did you snap any or no? Just a couple, yes, but... Okay, and she snapped a couple of you? Yeah. Okay, face car. You're free to go. Um, hopefully you won't be victimized again under these types of circumstances. Not all money is good money, okay? Not to mention, I'm sure there's going to be some drugs involved here. I mean, there's going to be a little more than you going to his room taking pictures. Okay, Fortunately for you, you got your car back. Now, hopefully, you'll learn from this and go get some help to kick your habit. All righty. All right. Good luck to you. We'll see you later. All righty. We're done. OK? Uh, I'll, you can go to jail for possession of a stolen vehicle. Like I said, I've given you every opportunity to present your side of the story. OK? That's what you're going to jail for. Good luck to you, and hopefully, we won't see you again under these circumstances. I like the guys that I work with. we got a really good squad right now. Uh, in fact, all the way just from the worker bee levels. All our sergeants are guys that came from the squad and have promoted up. And in fact, our lieutenant is even the same way. So it's, uh, it's real good to have the support we have and the teamwork and the camaraderie we have right now. Every night we go to work, we have a good time working together. We all go out and chase bad guys, and we all go home safely. At least that's our goal. The uh, Washington State Patrol has asked for our help. They're trying to catch up to a Jeep, and they've asked us to try and get ahead of them with spike strips. And we're just a couple blocks away, so we're going to try and get spikes down and see if we can end their chase before it really gets going. They just went through the intersection. Appreciate the sheriff's pursuit to just following the vehicle. So just kind of rolling. And now we're going to take off going westbound on Garfield from Hansworth. Appreciate westbound Garfield from Hansworth now. This state's the primary. Can you ask that again? This state primary. No, we are. And uh, he careened a cross spinway loop and into a yard.
What'd you run from me for? Come on, was that all Come of them? On. Come on, stand up. I didn't have a light. Is this all from the accident? No, I stalked him. He took off from me. Come on. Okay. I didn't stalk him. Walk this way. I said you took off from me. I didn't say you talk, yeah. stalked me. State Patrol stopped this car. I think it was involved in a hit and run, and they took off from state. We, uh, we picked up, and when we tried to stop the car, he did stop and then just took off. And uh, when he came up to this intersection right here, he just careened right through it into these people's fence. You can see he knocked out actually their driveway fence right over here. And he tried to make a U-turn and uh, get back out on the road. And we just, we just pinned him in the car and said, you're not getting back out on the road. We're done for tonight here. So we'll find out what the troopers want him for. And now uh, we'll add vandalism and hit and run to all that. Was he in a hit and run? No, he just took off from me. OK. But he's got all that damage. I stopped him. What yet? Okay. Route seven. He almost hit that construction. Come on, guys. Oh, OK. He almost hit those guys. So I stopped him and went inside the car and he took off. OK. Well, I'll wake up the people here, because you can see he took out a couple feet of the fence and the gate. OK, got we got OK, we got aid. OK, guys. Right, have a seat. Have a seat in there real quick. Watch your head. Watch your head. So is this damage to the front, is that all from this? From coming through the gate or is that from before? Yeah, no, he didn't hit anything before he came up here and when you got in front of him. Um, it started clear out on stairwell 7. Were you guys was, chasing him or just following him? Well, at first I, was, I lit him up and I pulled him over mm -hmm. and then at that time then I just um, walked up the side of the car. Mm -hmm. I seen his driver's license. He's fumbling for his driver's license. I see it and I said, there's your driver's license. Why don't you give it to me? He said, no, Funk, and left. Really? So at first I was lights and sirens and then he started blowing stop signs. So I turned off okay. because, you know, he was um, blowing stop signs and not stopping anywhere. So I turned it off and he slowed down. Um, I was just waiting to get somebody else behind me so we could take care of it. Even with no lights on, as soon as he saw us, he blew that stop sign at 116, okay. and it was on. He's got all the stop signs that he blew back to it. All right, I'll, or yeah. Backtrack the course and then right. I'll do that while you okay. take him for the BAC. Okay. okay. I got no problem with eluding just from, from my part of things, because we were behind him for about three blocks with the lights and siren, and then he stopped. And then this made this took off, and I looked okay. through this guy's yard. So he he knew it was the police. And oh yeah. He just didn't yeah. want to stop for us. Sounds good. So he gonna go. You're gonna take him and do DUI and. Excellent. Excellent. You can yes. spend a night in the bucket. Yeah. Cool. And this is a good job. You see uh, both sides of people. Fortunately, we see a lot of the bad sides. Occasionally, you see the good sides. I uh, had a call of a man screaming hysterically once I arrived. He was just hysterical. I, I realized he was uh, blind, and deaf and mute. So I took a hold of his hand, placed it on my badge. As soon as he felt my badge, uh, you could see him have a sense of relief and calmness. It's things like that that uh, make me realize I made the right choice for my profession. I responded to a, uh, one subject beating another. It was initially reported as they were on top of the uh, subject and they're now down and the suspect's walking away. And we'll find out what happens when we get there. Hey, stay seated. Come back over here. Police officer, come over here. Cool. Grab a seat. So where's the other half of this? My dad. He's Your dad? Down the street. Where's he at? He's down the street somewhere. Does he live down there or did he walk down there? I know. I him up. Okay. Can I get home soon? Yeah, let's see. So what happened with you and your dad? Nah, we started fighting. What are you fighting with your dad? Nah, we tried to walk back, back, uh, back down the back streets. Uh-huh. And I was drunk. So what happened? What started it? Man, I'm drunk. So is your dad going to be as uh, roughed up as you are? Yeah. A little more? Yeah. Hang tight right there. 
Um, the suspect, the one that hit him. His father? Is, on, oh, I don't know. It's his yeah, it's his father. He's he's almost to shields. He's on walking over. Is he on Sunday Fowler? Side. Okay. Is he uh, beat up pretty bad? He's walking pretty straight, so I don't think he's okay. in the middle of the street. So okay. What What did you guys see? I saw the guy that's walking hit him uh -huh. and then climb on top of him, and I saw him hitting him several times and choking him. And choking him? Yeah. Okay. That's what it looked like. I mean, they're down here. We're just right here. So the other one had the best of this one here? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. We have your phone number? Um, my cell phone number. Okay. If, if you can leave it on, we may be calling you back shortly. Okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> <sighs> okay, well, we're gonna talk to your dad. See who we got here. You, gotta, can you, you want your home? dad arrested? No. No? You guys gonna be right home? I'll talk to him tomorrow. Someone will give you a ride home. Oh. Someone right. will give you a ride. Has not been patted down. He's got blood all over him. Okay. What's this guy look like? Oh, it's his father. What we're gonna do, we're gonna pat him down, take him over to his house, and uh, find his father and see what we got. Okay. See if anyone wants anything done. Stand up for me. I'm gonna have you sit in the back of my car, right? You got my wallet? Yeah, stand up. Whoa! <laughs> Relax. Yeah, uh, I guess so, but like the east side. I don't want you to fall, man. How many beers have you had? Like four or five. Okay, just relax. See if dad's home. No. Your dad home? Yeah. Can, you ask, can you ask him to come out and talk to us? They were going at it pretty well. What's your dad's name? Alex. Can you hang out for a second? Sure. You mind if we come in? Or you want to come out and talk to us? You want to come in? Come out? Doesn't matter. Either way. You don't mind if I do this, do you? Ouch. So what happened? Uh, we were there one minute. Next minute it was like, damn, hell blew. Three Henry out there? Uh, it was like, uh, Watching the strippers, and before you know it, it's like three francs, two one to okay, three. Okay, time to go. So what started all this? Walking down the road. Can't drive. We're drinking. You can't drive. And then, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well, you know, just one of those crazy kind of things. You know what I mean? You want to press you charges? Blues? You want to press charges against your son? Oh, come on. Mr. Just uh, I gotta ask that. I know, but. I can okay. guess the answer, but I got to ask that. That's my job. It's... Because obviously you got pummeled. I mean, you got a laceration up above your left eye across yeah. the bridge of your nose. Yeah, it's like one little bam. It's like... Are you headbutt you? Yeah. But it's like one of those, you know what? Are you not paying attention? Why are you not listening? You know, when you give the lecture. Mm-hmm. You know, the dad thing. And your son lives here with you, right? Why well, you just get out of the service? So he's staying here? Yeah. Your son's going to go to jail for drunk in public. You're going to stay here, and hopefully you guys can patch this up uh, when he gets out of jail and comes back. Do you want him back here? Well, which one do you want, Jay? I mean, do you want him back here? Well, I don't want him arrested, but I guess there's no way they got to take him overnight. He's going to go to jail for about six hours, no, six, to, six to eight hours. Do you, you want to talk to your son right now? I meant nothing, sir. And when he gets out, it's obvious he's not, he's not going to be able to live here. These guys aren't going to get along. Well, that's off the top. Here, come out. It's your brother, right? Yeah. Okay. Does this happen often? Mm. Well, not on purpose. Probably like once or twice, you know, when they don't, they don't agree on something. But it's gonna happen when they drink. Whenever they drink, they go to blows. Not every time, but it's happened a couple times before, though. Right, once. Okay. You want to talk to him? Yeah. Okay. What's your uh, first name? Uh, JR. JR? Yeah. And this is Anthony, right? Yeah. Anthony, step out real quick. You want to talk to JR? Why? He's here. You want to talk to him? Calm, bro. Uh, yes or no? Yeah, my wrist hurt, though. Okay, we'll loosen him up right here. You okay? No. Okay, do me a favor. Yeah. Turn face that way. We're going to loosen him real quick. Be calm. They're going to let you know. I'm going to have to 15 minutes. But don't think it's funny. Just, just be calm about it. Learn something about it, okay? What? What it is. Damn. Sober up. All right, Anthony. Drop it for tonight. You have to talk sober. Drop it for tonight. Sober up. Yeah, in a little bit. Can I have a seat? Oh. Just be quiet, bro. Should I, should I sit like this or should I get inside? If you want to, yeah, sit like that. If you want to put your uh, feet up on the seat, just scoot your butt all the way in. Man. That's right. 
You want to talk to your dad? All right. Well, he doesn't want to talk to you, so. Cool. Put your foot in there. Let's go to jail. Oh. <laughs> Some of the things I enjoy when I'm not working is, is hanging out, playing softball. We have a um, travel team for the department. We go to all the police Olympics. Everybody enjoys playing together and also hanging out together. And it's important to like your, like the people that you work with. Okay, got a vehicle here, no license plate lamp. Uh, made a couple erratic turns as we were uh, behind it. Pull them over here and see what we got. Met six traffic. It could be Baker just north of Arrow on 813. How are you doing tonight? Hi. The reason I pulled you up, you have no license plate lamp. Are you aware of that? I no. just got it back from the mechanic today. What was wrong with it? Um, we just got a new rack and pinion put in it. Rack and pinion set up? Like power steering to it everywhere. Okay. Driver's license, registration, and proof of it. my license on. Why not? I just, we left to see a friend, and I left it at home. You left it at home, huh? I can tell you my license number. You know that? Have you been arrested before? Any tickets? Uh, yeah. For what? Possession. Possession. When was that? Oh, Lord. A while ago. How long's a while? Months. Months? Months, yeah. Okay, are you on probation? No. No probation no, yet. I have you my ticket and just left. You went to court? Yeah. Okay. Do you have a driver's license or any type of ID on you, sir? Yeah. How about there, back there? Anybody else been arrested for anything before? Any tickets? I'm on parole. You're on parole? Yeah. Okay. What are you on parole for? Robbery. Robbery. Out of where? Out of the Ontario. Out of the Ontario again? Ontario? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to need you to step out. Me? Yeah. You can stay there, man. You have anything on you you're not supposed to have? No. Any weapons, anything like no. that? Okay, just have a seat right here for me. All right, sir, will you step out for me, please? I need to check in the whole area that you don't have anything on you, nope. any weapons. I just want to patch you down, make this for safety. Yeah. What's this right here? That's uh, my cell phone. Cell phone? Okay, do me a favor, have a seat right next to your partner over there. Ma'am, do you mind stepping out for me? Do you have anything on you you're not supposed to have? No? Due to the fact that you have been arrested before for possession, so I'll make sure you don't have anything on you right now. I stopped after all that. You stopped after that? Yeah. Okay, that's good. Just um, let me make sure you don't have any weapons on you or anything like that. Okay, and your cigarette case? Okay, nothing else in there. Okay, just have a seat right there. Is there anything in the vehicle I need to be worried about? No. Do you mind if I check just to make sure? Now, why would you want to do that to yourself? So I can be happy all every day. Well, you I don't need to put scars and burn yourself to be happy every day. No, I don't. But it reminds me to be happy, like you tie a, a string around a finger. Well, I thought that was the thing on your yeah. wrist. No, that's for my hair. Well, why don't you utilize that instead of putting hair? Burn, and putting cigarette burns in your hands. Some people are into, you know... They... Sadomasochism? Well, no, that's not sadomasochism. No? Sadomasochism, they, they get off on pain. Didn't find anything behind the seat, but um, did find something here in the uh, little fold-down. A nice little sack of marijuana right next to the driver. Looks like it's pretty close to an ounce, maybe just under an ounce, more than likely. If she's on probation, then she's going to go to jail, but if she's not on probation, like she says, she end up getting a ticket for that. She'll have to go in front of the judge and explain why she's got marijuana in her little compartment here, which is obviously in her immediate control. Yep, another little baggie. Yeah. This one was probably on her when I pulled her over, and this is what she stuffed underneath the, the seat. It's not a harmful substance. It's not a harmful substance? People who can use it responsibly, as with alcohol in adults, it is not a harmful substance. So you're quite knowledgeable in marijuana, is that correct? I'm a college student. I'm, I'm you're a college someone student? intelligent. I've done research. And do you know what tetrahydrocannabinol is? The technical word for THC. That's absolutely correct. And what does that do to one? It 
affects your brain. It affects your brain. But there's no proof it well, can kill brain cells. Would it affect your driving? Answer me that. Yes, it would, but I am not high. Okay, well, that's what I'm not, well, I'm not telling you, asking you that. Well, I understand it affects your driving. It should be used responsibly as with any legal substance. However, I do not think people should be charged for a substance that is virtually less harmless than most of the prescription medications that doctors prescribe. Is it illegal? Yes, it is. Then there you go. Until it's legal, you can't drive around you with it. That's my opinion. I'm not fighting you that it's illegal. How about this? This was underneath the seat. Was this on you when I pulled you over and you just stuffed it underneath the seat? It was already there? Yeah. So you got weed everywhere. What was your first name? Michael. Michael, go ahead and stand up for me, turn around, put your hands behind your back. Michael, you have a warrant for your arrest. What? Yep. Man, what is it for? Well, I don't know at this time, but I'll let you know in a second. I think I know what it's for. It's for the, uh, it's a bench warrant, because I didn't show up to court because I was locked up. Well, there you go. Can I put him in your unit? I'll get another unit over here to transport, but just. Yeah. Thank you. What happened is I cited you for driver in possession of marijuana less than an ounce. And um, it's a misdemeanor, but it's a site, and I'm going to site release you from here. And I also cited you for no license plate lamp. That's why I pulled you over. Since you're not on probation, it's not going to go against you as far as that goes, okay? All right. Um, the keys are here, and you guys are free to leave. Thank you for your cooperation. Yep. I'm kind of amazed that she's a little on the perturbed side that uh, marijuana is not legalized. She doesn't have a prescription for uh, carrying marijuana, so as far as I know, that's illegal here in California. Well, I think you're right there. Yeah. That's why uh, she's going to have to go to court. You have to go to court and talk to he's the judge. He's going to jail, and the other guy lucked out. Yeah, so, uh, he was a straight one. That's cool. Good deal. Well, tonight's a full moon, and... A lot of officers have a myth or some type of belief that they think criminal activity picks up. Uh, whether it holds to be true or not, I have uh, yet to see. But right now, I'm about to initiate a traffic stop for a uh, basically an equipment violation for no headlights or taillights. 1426 is running. Clear me assist. I'm give me a traffic stop at a uh, Walnut Street. 1422, no one. Copy. How you doing, sir? Okay, officer. All right, I'm Officer Winslow with the Cincinnati Police Department. Yeah. You know I stopped you this this I evening. Didn't have my lights. On. There, there you go. I, I gave you a minute to turn them on, but you didn't turn them on for me. You have a driver's license with you, sir? Where are you coming from, from Kroger's? What are you doing over there? You work there or something, or? No. We were gonna get some food, but uh, they're closed. I'm closed. Yeah. Who is who is this? I'm my friend. Oh, your friend? Yeah. Oh, okay. What's your name, sir? Lee. Lee. Okay. You have a driver's an, or an ID on you of any type? No, I just he just picked me up from swimming. I'm still in my swimming trunks. Okay. Just do me a favor, both of you guys. You can just rest your hands on the steering wheel for me. Sure. How do you guys know each other? Just friends. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Just sit tight. Sit tight for me. I'll be back with you guys in a couple minutes. All right. No Uh, basically, I pulled this car over for a uh, equipment violation, no tail lights. Uh, when I approached the vehicle, initially the uh, the uh, driver seemed all right, gave the a uh, valid driver's license, and uh, when I looked at the uh, passenger, he seemed kind of uh, nervous. Um, right now, I'm just running through, see if he's got any. He's running. Eastbound on 13th. Eastbound on 13th. 1422, southbound on clay, southbound on clay. Male white, all black, black shorts, white hat. 1422, foot pursuit, southbound walnut, eastbound 13th, southbound clay. Stop running, stop running, I'm gonna you, stop running. Don't jump over the wall, stop. Do not move. Oh my God. We got him down. We got him down. Taser. Send a boss for Taser. What is your phone number? 1422. Hands behind your back. Hands behind your back. Put them together like you're praying for me. Put them in together like you're praying. Okay. 
22 advised in line of custody. Why'd you run? I had a couple beers. You had a couple beers? Come on, better. You holding? Holding what? Dope. Any what? kind of illegal drug paraphernalia, what contraband. Get him out and shuffle. And 1235, also copy that. Okay, stop. What happened here now? He's in custody. Uh, what I did was I stopped the individual as soon as he jumped over this uh, this uh, concrete fence in Breezeway right here, and I tased him for uh, fleeing from a traffic stop. Told him to stop several times, but refused to do so. And basically, this is what happens when you run from the police. You all right, man? Man, I can't even move, dude. Yeah, I bet you can. That's what that taser feels like. You got me. All right, just calm down for me, all right? I'm giving you that respect, so you give me that respect, all right? Yep. Don't do flaring around on me, because you'll end up back on the ground again, all right? OK? Calm down. Sit still. Go Ain't this way. Ain't nobody moving, man. You, the problem is you ran. How do you know this guy? Do you even know him? Huh? This guy back in the car, do you know him? Yeah. That's a firm. Let's have him step out. You have anything illegal on you, sir? Yeah. Gotcha. Right. What would you run for, man? You got warrants or something? Yeah. What's, uh, what's your what's your warrants for? It's right there on the screen. All right. Probation violation. What are you trying to do? Is he trying to get the hookup or something? He's trying to get some dope? No, man. We really want the Kroger's, dude. We you guys really know him? How do you know him? From here. He's from Anderson Township, dude. Okay. Well, he's looking for something down here. He shouldn't be. I'm not saying you are, but well, he is. Looking for me, well, I'm not like saying that. that. We're going in to get some food, dude. All right. Cool. <laughs> I'm going to pull his partner out right now, and then uh, we'll take it from there. So go ahead and step out the car. I'm going to talk to you for a second. I need, first of all, I need you to be honest with me, all right? Mm -hmm. All right. I'll pull you over for a simple reason. So yes. uh -huh. at this point right now, is going to dictate whether you're going to go to jail or not for lying to the police, falsification, obstruction, uh -huh. whatever it may be, OK? Mm -hmm. Who is that guy to you? Who, who is he? Do you know an him? Be honest. An acquaintance. an acquaintance. What type of acquaintance? I just have met him a couple times. A couple times. Mm -hmm. So what were you guys getting ready to do? We were going to his house to make supper. We stopped at Kroger's to get some ingredients. OK. We were closed. OK. We were going I mean, don't be afraid to talk to me. I mean, I'm not, I'm not afraid, going to implicate that as anything suspicious, but from what you're telling me, it seemed like you didn't know this guy too well. You just let no, him get I in your don't. car for no reason. And, well, to go to his house. Go to his house? Yeah. OK. And then anything, you guys just going to cook supper or something like that? He's going to cook spaghetti. You guys weren't down here looking for drugs or anything, were you? Heavens, no. Basically, what you're going to get cited for is the no headlights okay. or no tail lights, And uh, from there, you're probably going to get cut loose. All right? I well, thank you for being honest. And uh, right. let's go ahead and have a seat in my car real quick. We'll take it from there. What? Sure. Back there. So you got him on the ground? Yeah. Gave him a little extra, ground. just keep him yeah. down? Gave him a little juice to keep him down, so. I got you. Search incident to arrest, nothing was found, but he said he ran because he had some open warrants. Got so. a felony warrant? Is that what, oh, that's what it is. Yes, he does. OK. All right. That makes a good reason good to job, run, Mikey. but we caught him. Myself and another officer are heading to. Uh, it's for domestic trouble. That's all we've gotten so far. So we are going to head over there and see what's going on. This is uh, primarily in downtown Covington. During the day, it's heavily uh, populated by the area businesses. And here at night, it's mainly for the nightlife. So we get to deal with the individuals that take part in the bars and reception and, uh, with alcohol and drugs and stuff like that. What's going on? This guy up here, he's lying to his okay, wife. Back okay. up for me. Back up okay. for me. Okay. Listen, he's right. lying to sir, his. Sir. I just calm down, all right? Okay. You don't He's lying to his wife, okay? He came down to my house and stayed all night at my house, and me and him had sex, okay? Okay. And then he's sitting up there because his wife come down and asked me if I would tell the truth to her, okay? And I told her the truth. Okay. And she said that he was going to confront me. He came by my house and he threatened me. Who's he? John up the street, the black guy. Okay. And I told him, I said, you know, man, get out of my face because I don't like what you're saying to me. Okay. He threatened to whip my 
house and you might as well say okay and he started calling me faggots and everything this is my brother and my dad okay okay they i called them for backup because i didn't know what was going down okay and he harassed me he's been bothering me he's been lying to his girlfriend or wife or whatever he is to her and he said he didn't stay at my house and officer he did stay at my house because he had sex with me okay I mean, I wouldn't be out here if it wasn't for him threatening me. Okay. I just called a friend of mine down here. Okay. You know, I mean, right. I don't like to fight, you know, like I'm always saying, I'm a lover, not a fighter. Right. <laughs> you see me on Madison before. I have, I have. So you stopped me before. My toes broke again in the same place, okay. by the way. <laughs> okay. But So he came down to confront you? Yeah, he you. came by my fence here. He was riding by, and he told me, he says, don't let me catch you out on the street, bitch, for lying on me. He says, I'm going to whoop you because you were in, uh, interrupted my marriage. Okay. So he's And upset. he came to my house. He came to my house ringing my doorbell and asking me for a place to stay, and I'm stupid old me, tuck him in and let him stay here. Okay. You know? And have sex with him. Okay. All right. Top story. Okay. If you don't mind, go ahead and stand yep. outside. We'll be right back with you. John's right here. All right, John. What's going on tonight? I don't know what's the problem is. My wife, my, my wife called me at work and told me, you know, that he said I was, I was him. Mm -hmm. And you know, and you know, and that, you know, I don't pay that. You know right. what I'm saying? Like right. I never, I never, I never mess with a man. Okay. And I never will mess with a man. Okay. And you know, he thought riding his mouth off, so I just came on up here. Okay. You know, but, but, but you know, far messing with a man, I don't, I don't, I don't, okay. I don't, I don't around with no man. All right. Females. So, so when, were you down there talking with him? Were you staying down there? Or? No, I uh, know. How, 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 did, how did you get down there? Okay, now I was, I was, I was going to my father-in-law's house one night. Okay, and because me and my wife got into it, okay. and uh, and uh, he was sitting on the porch and drinking a forty. Well, only stepped drinking a forty, and and uh, uh, he just stopped me and told me, you know. You know, you know, you know, drink a beer with him. So you know, I, I said I drunk a forty with him for like a for like an hour, not even an hour, maybe, maybe an hour. Okay. And from there, you know, I went around my father-in-law's house and I slept there. But now he coming back telling my wife that that you know we slept together. Okay. And, and, and you know, and that you know, I, 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 I don't around like that. I okay. don't. All right. So you know, that's that's what that's okay. what that's what started. All right. All and right. I appreciate you know if you go ahead and tell him you know to keep you know my name out of his mouth. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, we'll you, check that. Okay. You, you didn't go down there and threaten him, did you? No, no, you know, no, that you no, were gonna no, no, I didn't do that. Whoop no, him or anything no, like that? Uh -huh, okay. No. Just hang tight. Okay. Do you mind? I know you already explained to my partner everything that went on, but mm -hmm. I kind of need to know myself. Mm -hmm. And I've gotten both parties' uh, story, and I just kind of need to get yours. Okay, so what... Okay, what's, what's going on start here? Start from the beginning. Okay. Randy comes out and he said, "Are you two broke up?" I said, "Well, we're having problems." He mm -hmm. didn't come home last night. You mm -hmm. know, talking about uh, he he kind of got kind of happy. Talking about um, well, uh, are y'all getting back together? And I said, "Well, we're not really separated." Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We'll we'll probably work things out. Talking about uh, well, where's he staying at? I said. I don't know. I guess he stayed at his sister's last night. All right. He said, well, I have something I need to tell you, and I don't want you to get mad at me. Okay. He said, but about a week ago, when you and him had an argument, and he told you he went to your dad's house and stayed, he mm -hmm. didn't. He spent the night here with me. Okay. Okay. Well, from the way he acted, a little while later, I go down, because I come back and I call him and confront him about it. He said, it's not true. He said, I'm getting off work right now. He said, I'm coming home to prove to you. I ain't, I don't sleep with no men. I'm not on that. Okay. So he gets off of work. As he's coming past, he sees Randy. He confronts him. Why you tell my wife that? Okay. You know? All right. It sounds like you and your husband probably have some things you need to work out yeah. and stuff like that. Okay. All right. Okay. And again, that's probably not going to get resolved in one night either. No, okay. It's so. going to take some time. Okay. 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 I appreciate cooperation. Okay, how are we going to resolve things tonight? I don't have nothing you, you, to say to him. Okay, well, that, that's your own business, and you can do that. You know, you know I mean, he's setting up there, tempers. and he's, he knows that he's divorced, uh, that she don't want nothing to do with him because she come down here and told me that she ripped up his clothes and threw them out on the front porch. Okay. Why would he even go back up there? Okay. Why would she even have anything to do with him? Okay. It's that, all a big game. Just listen to me, okay? Mm hmm Whatever they've got going on down there, and if there's anything that you guys have going on, you need to take care of that when cooler heads prevail. I called my parents because they was worried about me. All right. All right. And okay. it's a hate crime because right. they called me a All right, if you don't mind, just go ahead and go on inside and just uh, just try to steer clear of him, all right? And I'm going to tell I'm going to go down there and tell him the same thing, okay? 
No, it'd be best for okay. not to shut back up in my property. Okay. All right, that's what I'll do. We're now en route to a uh, domestic disturbance. It looks like it's going to be some type of family trouble or custody dispute uh, in the 3300 block. And all that it says is that the uh, grandparents are fighting and having trouble with the parents of the children. Uh, so we're responding down there, and we'll see what happens when we get there, what's going on. They're all at the other driveway. We'll just come up this back. Come up the back. Yeah, why not? Take her. No. Sir, come with me. What's going on? Come here. What's going on? Um, okay. I was arriving home. I lived down Let's in... Let's keep our voice down. You don't need to make it any worse than it is. Um, I live down in North College Hill. I okay. work over in Kentucky. On my way home from work tonight, I was pulling in the parking lot, and the Stephanie, the uh, stepmother of my ex-wife, was in my parking lot, told me they were trying to find me to get me to come up here, that my ex-wife was taking my kids. She met this guy on the internet, and they were going to Florida. They were stopping to get married right. on the way, and they were- All right, to stop Florida. for a second. Which one's your ex-wife? Her with the baby. With okay. The baby. All right, go ahead. When I gave the kids back to her Sunday for visitation, I met this guy out in the parking lot of Northgate Cinemas. Okay. And she was like, hi, this is, you know, this is David and whatever, and um, I'm like, you know, nice to meet you, whatever, and it's just thinking it's another guy that she's dating or whatever. And then all this brought on to me today. I'm like, whoa, what's going on? You know? Okay, who has custody of the kids? We have joint custody. She has um, an apartment up in Ross, and she has the bulk of the custody. She has the, you know, custodian or whatever you want to call it. She's the prime. Primary parent. Primary parent, right, exactly. Okay. Um, our divorce decree is in Kentucky. We've been divorced for um, a year and a half. Um, is she I saying she's just going out of town for the week? No, they're, she's got religion. They're going to get married. He's going to make her a righteous woman. I mean, he's he, this man. Who knows what his background where, where is? Where is he at? Is. I don't know where he's went to now. He's disappeared. Was he here? Yeah, he was here. He's driving that red car there. But um, now, um, no, he's right there. So anyway, she met him on the internet, and they just met for the first time in person Friday. And she didn't even tell me she's taking these kids and going to Florida. And they're to It's not just me, for vacation. No. The kids told me over the weekend that they're getting a new daddy, and I wasn't their dad anymore. And I'm like, stay here a second, right? Stay here. You this is stay over here. Oh, I do. I'm just, like I said. She's known this person three days, and she's leaving town with them tonight. We don't know this person. She's just up taking the children and moving to Florida. And well, I mean, ha do we know that to be fact or is yes, that hearsay? Exactly. That is that what you're doing, ma'am? Do what? I'm sorry. Is that what you're doing? What am I doing? Are you taking the kids and moving? In order to take those kids across state line, though, I mean, that has to be something that has to be cleared with the courts. Mm -hmm. So I have to get it cleared courts. Yes, yeah, you to do Florida. because actually, you have to understand this. You take the kids okay. to Florida, you could actually be charged okay. with a kidnapping. Okay. Um, okay, that's fine. That's that's fine. I can I can do that. I require you leave state because I do not want my kids around him um, because he does drugs. He smokes marijuana. Well, this isn't something that's going to happen overnight. Right. I understand that. Okay. I understand that. But this man's been up here since Thursday from Florida. She's known him since Thursday. She's met him on the internet. So that's Jody. So, so what does I that do have to do with I do not want you to take my grandkids and go to Florida. I'm going to go do what I have to okay, do. Okay, you go do what you got to do. There's more stories that happens about young women leaving with their children, is there not? There is. But you have to understand, there's nothing we can do to keep her from not exactly. taking these kids I know. out of this area here. Right. Okay. We can advise her, hey, it's not going to be a wise decision if you cross state lines with those kids without having something documented through the civil courts. Exactly. And she does. We understand that. We just. But you have really in custody, you're going to take to them her. with you now back to Ross. Yes, I am. Okay. Yes, I am. We can't stop her from doing that. I know that. I'm going to go talk to Daddy. We really called her up here to talk. She got upset because the okay. ex was here. Me. The advice to your son is he needs to get on the ball, too, with his attorney. That's my son-in-law. Son-in-law, I'm sorry. 
she has the right to take the kids back to Ross, okay. but not the right to go to Florida. And she's been advised of that, that she needs to go through the court system if that's what she wants to do. Um, and, you know, we've told her there's going to be consequences if she decides to leave. But because of what happened and what's going on, we can't keep her from taking the kids back to Ross where they're supposed to be according to the divorce decree. A woman does not just take there's kids. There's nothing you can have. I know. Out. You're making it worse. There's nothing illegal about what she's doing. Um, I'd like to hug and kiss the boys goodbye. I want no, to say goodbye not, to the no, boys. No, no, Can I go no, to the no, car no. and you take her, keep her here for a minute? It is not your visitation. They're my kids. Listen, ma'am. How can you do that you to can them? Go, you can go tell them goodbye. Go ahead. He can tell them goodbye. Ma'am, I've already told him he can tell them goodbye. You're going to have to shoot me to keep me from kissing and hugging my kids. This was signed by a judge. I understand that. I don't think you're above that. But you know what, ma'am? What you got signed by the judge right now really ain't standing right now because both of you guys are not in compliance with it. And it's outdated. Well, I will get it updated. Good thought. Before you leave town, maybe, too, huh? They don't want to go to Florida. No, they don't even want to go. Them kids don't want to go. I wonder why. I wonder why. Because all of their family and friends that love them are here in Cincinnati. Chuck, don't eat. The reason why I divorced you is because of the way you are. We can't make her stay here or leave the kids here. Hopefully she makes the right choice. That's what I talked to her about, was, you know, that the kids are number one here, obviously. She needs to do it the right way and go through the court system. I think it would benefit both of you to go back to court and get it taken care of. Absolutely. We're going to take care of that tomorrow. All right. So hopefully everything works out for everybody. All right. We appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Come back this way. We got a pursuit going on with uh, units. Vehicle guiding behind. I don't know what kind of crime they have. It's occupied by two people. Uh, we got cars up here. Try to get sticks out in front of them. They drive all over the place, back and forth, all, all over the city, back and forth. Traffic light. Traffic They'll be coming this way here in a minute. Yep. Sticks of five six, sticks of five six. sitting there. We got units, Tacoma, Pierce County, Lakewood, University Place, Perkins, all trying to get this guy stopped. He's uh, out of control. This is extremely dangerous for us and as well as the other people involved. Keeps going across the back and forth, all the way across Tacoma, back and forth, in and out of Pierce County. This stuff becomes real dangerous. Citizens just driving around their own business, and this cup's right, right in their path. We need to get this stopped. And we're gonna go westbound. Coming back this way. Come on, tell me where you're at. It's gonna be coming to our left. Go! Get out of the way! Get out of the way! Got it! Go! 
Got him. He hit the sticks. He hit sticks back there, so he should be starting to slow down a little bit. Tire should be getting flat. Oh, looks like he's going to be bailing. Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! ground! I got him! I got him! I got it! I got it! I got nothing on me. Alright. Get up. Get up. You have the right to remain silent. Anything say can will be using against the court of law, right? To send a soul to attorney. If you can't afford an attorney, one may appoint a representative at no cost. Stop questioning your time for purpose. Consult the attorney. You understand your rights? Yes, I do. Have me your rights in mind. You want to talk to us tonight? Certainly. What's going on? Okay, we were up there in Spanaway. Yeah. Um, he had some dope he's going to turn me on to. Okay. He said that it was in his trunk. Uh, the next thing I know, a police officer is right behind me, or behind the two of us. Sure. I'm uh, in the car at this point in time, uh, and he takes off like a bat out of hell, and I can't get out of the car until just now, officer. Oh, really? So what was he saying when he was driving to all over town? What was he saying? What was he saying? He yeah. was saying, which turns to make? I said, dude, I'm lost. Stop the car the whole time. You tell him, tip, stop. What was he saying? Was he just kept saying which turns to make? Were you saying anything else or no, what? No, I was not. Okay. I was saying, let me out. What kind of dope was inside the car? Uh, I believe meth. Methamphetamine? Yeah, that's what he said he had. How much meth is in the car? I had no idea. He was just going to turn me on to some. And then the next thing I know, the security guard was behind us, um, and he takes off like a bat out of hell, and this is the first chance I had to get out. I've been okay. Well, that was a police the whole time that was behind you, so. Yes, I know that was. You know that was a police? And yeah, you're yelling I, I from the stop? Did. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Cool. Yeah. All righty. You got a car we can stick them into here? All right. Why were you running? Why were you running from me? I don't want to see. You don't want to talk? I'm at Larry. All right. Well, we got the ambulance coming. Just lay there for a minute. I got the passenger over here, and he, uh, told me he's the whole time he, uh, when he saw you, uh, driver jumps in the car and off they go. He's screaming right. at him the whole time to stop, stop, stop. Right. What he's telling me is basically he has dope inside the trunk of his car and, he, and he's trying to sell him dope, hook him up with some dope. So that's what methamphetamine. So that's part of, part of what was going on. So um, that's what the pastor's saying. You, man. You, you invoked your rights. So, so that's what he's telling me. He's uh, yeah, being well, cooperative. When I, him, when I first came up on him, you know, the guy looked at me and he jumps in the car and took off. He got a felony warrant and he's got uh, felony looting. Okay. We're going to impound the car back to the precinct to get a search warrant. Okay. Find out what he was putting in the back when I approached him initially. And it smells like toluene, which is a sure sign of possibility of methamphetamine in the back. Methamphetamine land, probably right. rolling meth Could lab. Could be a rolling meth lab well, right it fits here. the profile. I mean, you know, the paranoia and him running and everything. It's a good reason to run. He's uh, So as we're chasing you, what's your partner saying? Uh, he's saying not much. He ain't saying a damn thing. I'm saying, dude, I'm telling him because I know the area. I said, there's windy turns. and uh, I said, if you don't slow down, you're going to kill us. Uh, <laughs> What about yeah. getting out of the car? Did you want to get out of the car? Or you want to Yeah, out? yeah, he, and I just wanted you to know, he did about three times. He said, if you want out, jump. And uh, he, he slowed down. What did you think of that? I thought, <laughs> you. All right, you're free to leave. You be safe. Stay Something out of trouble. For me. These guys are um, doing this stuff, this methamphetamine, these drugs, and, and they put their lives and our lives and the citizens' lives at risk just for, you know, a 20 bag of dope. And uh, it's crazy. The other night we had a a Suburban that was stolen it had some front end damage to it, and this one kind of looks a little bit similar to it. We're gonna stop it right up here and see if it might be it or not. Adam 33 traffic. Adam 33. Uh, it looks like we're gonna probably stop right over here at uh, Markham Little Rock. Yeah, we're we'll Markham 145. <laughs> Adam 33, it's 912. Give me another unit. Adam 21, start that way. Everybody in the car, hands on the roof right now. Everybody in the car, hands on the roof. Stay in there. Yeah, 
Everybody just stay put. Everybody get your hands on the roof. And 496, I'm on the highway. 146. Who's the one who was sitting in the front seat? Where'd he go? Where's the driver at? Tell him to sit up. Who was driving it? Because ain't nobody bailed out the car. Get your hands on the roof! Come on, Tisha, get out. Right there on the car. Stay put, stay put, don't get out. Lay down on the ground. Come on, get on the ground. Get on the ground right now. Your turn, Red Hat, come on. Get on the ground, you don't understand? Randy, I don't know about the dude in the passenger seat. He's either passed out or something. Yeah, he... Passenger, come on! He passed Wake up, get out! You know me. Get on the ground. Get on the ground right now. Get your hands out in front of you. I seven CA MS in the miles three eight six oh seven ten three six one. And I want ten sixty three. That's ten four. Shut up. Hey! Man, what's going on, man? Start patting them down. That was you driving it, wasn't it? No. Uh -uh. Who was driving it? Where's dude at that was driving? Because listen to me. I know nobody bailed out that car. All right? Who's sitting on that side in the back? Uh, this one right here with the red shoes. Bingo. Oh, yeah. And it's stolen, too. Yeah, there it is. Nice big old bag full of some crack cocaine on top of having a stolen car. Have we went through it real good yet, Sarge? No. Okay. No, no I was just kind of making Just, very... just a, a peek? Yeah, just a peek. That's all okay. So on just a peek, we got this. Who's is this? You know, I don't know nothing about that. Huh? I don't know nothing about that. You know it. I don't. It ain't mine. It's the car you're riding. I don't know. I who, mean, who was whatever driving? they. Who was driving? When they came and got me, man, who, I was. Listen to me. Who was driving the car? Was he driving? Was John driving? Mm -hmm. Bobby driving? Mm -hmm. All right then. I don't know that. I ran who, into John. Who was driving that car? Uh, Who's driving this thing? Dude, 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 I got my. Bobby was? Yeah. That's what I thought. Yeah, man. I just trying to get a ride over this girl house, man. Okay. Little Rock. Let me try this. Like I'm going to put it right here in your front pocket. I appreciate it. Damn, why ain't trucks not on though? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, listen to me. That was underneath the seat where you're sitting. Oh, no. That ain't mine. You used so, to push it harder than anything nah, anybody else, man. No, nah, no, nah, I didn't, man. I ain't, I ain't never sold no dope in my life, man. I ain't never had a drug charge in my life, man. You can check my records, John, man. Come on, man. I ain't never sold no dope in my life, All right. man. All right. I ain't never had a drug charge All right, in my then. life, man. Curtis, what's going on tonight, man? You just passed out in the seat for the ride? Yeah, I've been asleep. All right. You don't know who that is? Yeah, no. Where you find it? It was under the back passenger seat where uh, John was sitting at. Yeah, but be there then. Ain't none of mine. Ain't none of yours, huh? Yeah. Well, you know what happens whenever nobody claims it? I know what happened. Everybody gets it. But you know who I'm going to stick it with? I'm going to stick it with John because it's sitting right underneath where he's sitting at. I'm talking about it. This seat ain't none of mine. All right. Bobby, Bobby, how, how'd you come to have that thing? Huh? How'd you come to be driving that thing? L listen to me, listen to me, man. I done talked to two folks. Bobby, look at me. Bobby, Bobby, what? look at me. I've already talked to two people sitting in there that done told me you was driving it. Huh? Listen to me, you was yeah. driving that car, no. okay? Then who, who was driving it? 
If you wasn't driving, who was driving it, Bobby? Dude is passed out in the, in the passenger seat next to you? I wasn't driving. You wasn't driving it? No. Then who was driving it, Casper the Ghost? Yeah. Casper was driving it, huh? I ain't All right, then. I ain't no, no. By the way, you're under arrest for theft by receiving times two. The tag on the back of that is reported stolen on a, is actually on a, supposed to be on another stolen vehicle out of, Little, out of uh, Lone Oak County. And that Suburban's stolen out of North Little Rock. So you got theft by receiving yeah, times two. I'm not driving this car, sir. Yeah, you were. No, yeah, I you wasn't. Were. Yeah, you were. No, I wasn't, Yeah, you man. were. Yeah, you were. No, I wasn't. Okay, well, you can tell it to the judge. And if you can, listen to me, if you can bring Casper the Ghost to court with you, then he can testify that you weren't driving it. Me and Steve are both instructors in the police academy, which I find pretty good. Every day out here working, you kind of do the same thing over and over again, and eventually you start to get lackadaisical. And teaching a police academy helps keep us fresh, keeps us with officer safety in mind. We teach, you know, when we're teaching the academy students, we're telling them the different things that we should practice each and every day, and it kind of keeps them fresh in our mind um, for the things we don't do all the time, the things we don't encounter every day, something you might only come into contact with once every five or six months. All right. We just, we're, we're getting dispatched to uh, one of our area hotels where they're having trouble with a resident of the hotel. He's backed his pickup truck over a... Uh, block wall and he's having a disagreement with the manager and now he's outside and a lot causing problems. It looks like the lady at the front desk wants to talk to us and then also the complainant, the person who struck the picnic table, called back also. Hello. How's it going? All right. What's going on? His uncle for two days now has cussed me up and down like a dog. Owner knows this. They were due tomorrow, due to Saturday. I put on there, not to renew their home. I'll come from the Pepsi machine, they come squealing, speeding through the parking lot. I set my can down, I hit brakes, break, and I hear a squeal again. I look out there, he backed up over the little concrete slab into the brick wall down here at the picnic area. I locked up, went out there, all I asked him to do was put the brick back. By golly, if he didn't cuss me up and down again, I want him off this property. What room's he in? 121. All right. What's his name? What else? Okay. Okay. What's going on tonight, man? I have no idea. I have no idea why you're here. You called us saying that your telephone was stolen. Y'all. And the front desk also called about having problems with you. I didn't ever call y'all. All right. Well, what happened to where the front desk would call us? Yeah. Because they're f***ed off. About what? That I'm f***ed off. They're upset that you're upset. Yeah. Okay. The phone's been disconnected Where's your over car at? 70 cents. My truck is right there. Over 70 cents? 70 cents. Well, can't we, get that, can't we get that taken care of then? Yeah, I thought we could. Hmm. What was the deal? Is it the deal he pulled in here and hit a couple things? That's what they're I, saying. That's a lie. You go check anything on my well, I don't think he's going to check he's it right now. Check. No, it ain't going to happen. Do you have a valid license or are you under suspension? Okay. Under suspension? I'm a, I am, but you I are? didn't drive in here. Who did? My Chad. Where's Chad from? He's the one who owns the truck. You got any... Are you causing a disturbance around here or what? No, sir, never. It's not what they said up front, man. It's That's like a lot. there and wreak some havoc because... Uh... Let's walk over and look at the truck. Let's make sure there's no damage. Wow. Did you hit something? No, he didn't hit nothing. He knows he... If he bumped into something, that's fine. You know, he, he didn't mean to. Where's, where's Chad at? Chad! Where's Chad staying? Chad. He's my nephew. He lives with me. He lives with you? Yeah. Where'd he go? I don't know. Probably away from y'all. Oh. Yeah, that's fresh damage. So what are we going to do to fix this? You going to pick up the bricks and put them back? Well, certainly I would do that. All right. It's broke. Take me about two seconds. Have at it. Where's Chad at, inside? Was that Chad, he said? Yeah, we yeah were, that's we Chad. Right? Yeah. Let's bring Chad out so we can get into this truck and find out what those pills are in the front seat. I think you got them upside down. I bet if you rotated that about 180 degrees. Yeah, I figure I'm not going to do it, though. You're not? Yeah. yeah, you are. Yes, I will. I thought you were. Damn. Good answer. 
Flip it. Flip it over. That's the bottom. There you go. Put that there. I flip this one over. Nope. Nope. Flip it. I think. I'm not even trying no more. <laughs> Throw me in jail. That's still not right. Put him, I want him right. Look, pick this brick up and set it over there. All right, I'm going to help you. I don't know how to do it. All right, now turn that one all the way around. There you go. Don't start getting smart. That one's got to be, gotta be flipped. It's got to be flipped. It's got to be flipped over. I wouldn't break it. Don't break it. There you go, man. Way to go. I can't believe you asked me to do that. Why? I am not an idiot. I just spoke with the manager, and she said that she doesn't have a problem with the nephew. He can stay, but she said this guy's been a troublemaker for two days. Yeah. So Means it's, it's time for you to go. Can you say it's true? Where you go? Where you go? Where you go? Just shut up and go in the room. You go get. We're gonna call Kev. Let's get go. All right, the cab's here. Ma'am, um, we have a guy over here. He's He's been drinking. He's a little drunk, but not too drunk. The hotel here just wants to get him out of here. Okay. If we can take him down to the Fireside Motel, I'm oh. sure he won't give you any problems. Right. If he does, call right away through your dispatch, have him call us, and we'll come and get him. We'll just take him to jail. All right. You're good. You got to get into this All right, cab. dude, listen. Your cab's here. You got to get into the cab and go down to the other hotel. Hey. All right. Okay. Come over on this side, man. You're this. You're seemingly being the lead officer. Can I talk to you? Here's the deal. Hop in, Russell. Here's the deal, and I want to make myself very clear. Understand? Okay. Very clear. Okay. If you're going right down the street, if I see you any more tonight, if I get called to the hotel, if I get called for you walking down the street, if I get called for you dialing 911, if I see you again tonight, you are going to jail. Period. Okay. Understand? Okay. Thank God this is over. All right, we just uh, heard from State Patrol, and it sounds like they've got a vehicle fleeing from them southbound on I 5 here. We're going to try and get over here on the 5 and see if we can catch up to it. Maybe see if we can get involved in it. Should be coming up behind us anytime now. Shut your lights off. They're the back right behind us a little ways. Here they come. All right, yep, we got lights. We got lights coming right now. Minivan. States initiated this pursuit. All they got for it right now is speeding. They got sticks out right here at Gravelly, so we're gonna see if they can get sticks out on them. I'm in it. Watch out for sticks. Stay way left. He's getting off. Go, go. Did he just get off? Yeah, he did. He's going up over the overpass. Go, go, go. Unreadable, there's an open carrier. The last was unreadable, there's an open carrier. He's going back northbound. There it is, right there. He bailed. 330 County, we need a. Uh, we need K9 to start. We're at Union Mills and Pacific Avenue. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, with the vehicle, we're at uh, Union and Mills. Go there so we can get on it. Where'd he go? Hey, Mark, you see him run, sir? What's he look like, sir? Hey, guys, start setting up containment. White guy with a white T-shirt? Anything else? I had a flat tire, so he stopped and he got out and he just started running up that way. Um, what we had was uh, 
The guy came up here to this intersection, and obviously his car couldn't go any farther. It, it seized up on him. He stopped in the middle of the intersection, it bailed out, and ran a short distance down the roadway, and we think we have him somewhere pinned down inside this field. We got a canine dog here, and we're going to try and do a track on the suspect now. Yeah, we got a canine now. coming, Thurston County canine. Are you on learn? On, uh, I'm on learn. Okay, I'm going to stand. Okay. Three units on learn. We're going into the bushes here. Yeah, I know, I see him. Yeah. Is he there or is he stuck? <laughs> Get up! Get your hands up! Help! Yeah, help! Hands on your head! Get your hands up! Get your hands behind your head! Drag him out! Drag him out. <laughs> Hands back. Hands back. Hands back. Hands back. Get a cuff, guys. Get a cuff. Good track, guys. Good job. Good boy. All right. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Good to go. Hey, partner. No, partner. Listen up. Listen up. Listen up. Can you hear me? You had a right to remain silent. Anything you say can will be used against you in a court. Attorney. You need to wait until I read you your rights. I want to talk to an attorney. Come on. Can you find my shoe? No. no. Great attitude. Yeah, your dog bit me. Oh, I'm real sorry about Don't that. run from the police. In the back of police cars. Will do. Let's go. You have the right to remain silent. Anything yeah, you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right at this time to speak to an attorney and have him present with you while you're being questioned. Yeah, come on. For to hire a lawyer, want to be appointed to represent you before any questioning if you wish. You're going to sign any time to access your rights. In the back of the do you understand cars. your rights? I don't know what you're talking about. Do you understand your rights? Yeah. Hey, hold on. Man, these guys. Dog How many cops I got here? Thank you. Plenty. The positive ID. 100% positive, that's him. Okay, cool. Okay. So, where did you get the car from? I had a, what car? The van? You don't know anything don't know about that? About no okay. So, why'd you run out of your shoes and your coat and all that stuff? Because there's a dog after my ass. Yeah, but it's it's really funny. It came from the van. We could literally follow the trail that of right? clothing. That, that, that's a, uh, what do you call it? Uh, what do you a call trailer? it? A trailer? A tracker. Tracker. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'd call it. So it sniffed the seat in the van. Mm-hmm. And it tracked right to you. Is that right? Yeah, it did. That's a pretty damn good dog. Yeah, it is. Dustin. Could I, could I ask you this? What were you in jail over at Snohomish County for? That would be a theft, just what, like you read on the paperwork. What kind of theft? What'd you steal? Yeah, I'm sure you called it in. Was it a little simple little thing? Did you steal some food? Did you steal some alcohol? What? A car. A car? Yes, sir. Okay. But you didn't steal this car? No, sir. Okay. Where'd you get this one from? Um, my parents had it. Your parents had it? Yes, sir. And how can we get in contact with them so that we can verify I have no that? Idea. My dad smokes coke and my mom shoots heroin. Wow. Hmm. Okay. Well, it looks like this guy's going to get charged with uh, felony eluding, uh, DUI, and they find out that the car's stolen later, then we'll have a possession of stolen property charge as well. Before I uh, came down to Vegas, I was a cop in Reno for four years, and we'd have an exciting call that we'd be talking about for three weeks after it happened. Then I came down to Las Vegas, and those same calls happened three times a night. 
there's always something exciting going on in downtown Las Vegas. Copy Found a stolen car. Air unit available. I'm getting them over here. Hey, for I'm trying to catch up to it now. We're Charleston and Bruce. Stand by. Confirming it's Nevada. That's affirmative on a green Nissan Sentra. The car in front of me, the license plate, the way it's on there, was uh, <laughs> it's got one screw, so it kind of caught my eye. It's stolen. He runs. We got enduros with us too. Copy that. Raise your hands, Metro Police. Put the car in park with your left hand slowly step out of the car. Keep your hands raised at all times. Turn around, face away from me. Stop. Slowly walk backwards towards my voice. Slowly stop. Need someone to go hands on. Okay. Go down the ground. Okay. Get down the ground. Get down. All the way? All the way. All right. Watch the plane. Watch the plane. Do you have any weapons on you? No, sir. You got my wallet. Draw 8 out of 4. We're code 4. We have 1 in custody. You can clear the channel. Copy, I am. Step on next high 4. I was 1 in custody. Channel clear at 1655. So we got no ignition in the car. It's covered by some kind of rag, and there's a broken screwdriver on the, the floorboard. The ignition is on the floor on this side. OK. It's been seven years since I got arrested. Man. Seven years, huh? Yeah. So what are y'all doing today? Huh? I just uh, ran to the store. My buddy told me to take the car. Oh, you ran had the to car. the store. Okay. Huh? Well, What's his name for? I had the car just like a uh, half hour, man. I just went down here to get some chicken. Is it your buddy's car? Uh, uh, I you guess so. So let's start back. Where were you at when you got the car? Where was I when I got the car? Yeah. I was at the uh, 7 Eleven. OK, man, when you repeat my questions like that, that means you're trying to think of an answer. No, I speak real clear, okay. man. You should be able to hear me. Am I right? Yes, let's sir. Not, let's not get off to a bad start. Okay. Where were you at when you at got the car? Because hold on, I'm about to go look at the tape right now. Because it's 7 Eleven, the parking lot, everything there from inside the store and outside the store is on, on the tape. Back of the 7 Eleven. The, now it's the back of the 7 Eleven. No, that's where I was at, in back of the 7-Eleven. I'm confused. What'd you do, walk to 7-Eleven? Yeah. OK, so you walked to 7-Eleven. Why'd you go to 7-Eleven? OK, that's where people be hanging out. I can not I was trying to get a ride, man, to the store. Uh, OK, so you, you want to play games and, you know, act okay. like I graduated the academy okay, yesterday. I, I, we'll go that route. Right. OK, I am going to tell you no lie. I know. I, I did not steal the car. Okay. Steve told me he had borrowed the car, the, uh, let a guy, gave a guy some crack to use the car. OK, so he gave some crack to use the car. Yeah. But, he gave a guy some crack to use the car. OK. So then uh, how'd you start the car? Uh, it was already started. OK. What we're going to do is I'm going to take you over there because I want to interview you. That way we're out of, off the street. I'm going to uh -huh. bring you to an interview room. We can sit down. It's the closest station we have. Uh -huh. OK. I don't really want to talk to you and interview you out on the street. Right. What's that? OK. Just because that way we can sit down. You know, I'll take those handcuffs off you. You can relax. Because obviously you might have some more information for me besides this car. Yeah, Might, if right? I don't go to jail. Okay. Well, that's what I'm saying. We'll go. We'll go talk and we'll sit down. You take okay. my food with me. How much food you got in there? Just, oh man, some chicken, man, and a couple bags of food, man. Is it all gonna uh, perishable food or what? Everything except the chicken. Hey, you've been cooperative. I mean, there's there's mm -hmm. obviously some holes to your story, though, man. Yeah. Okay. I mean, this but, like I said. I okay. didn't that car, man. Didn't I'd rather you, hold on. I would rather you tell me, look, I don't even want to talk to you than you sit here and lie to me. Okay. Is that, you know what I'm saying? Right. Just, I don't want you to insult my intelligence okay. and the fact that I've been doing this job. I to you. Okay. All right. Okay. Tell me everything about this car. Tell you everything about the Not car. Not the stuff you told me out on the street, you know, when everybody's around. That's why I brought you in here. Okay. Okay, because I know everything you told me out on the street, that ain't all the truth. But I'm going to forget about some of that stuff so we're not on the wrong page. Okay, I'm, I'm going to tell you the truth now. Okay. Start off at, all right. Okay. Over at the pepper tree, Karen, uh, I seen the guy go by. Mm -hmm. Karen, uh, he said he was going to the store to get a beer. Okay. I walked up there. I said, I tell him I need to go to the store. And okay. He said, here, man, you can use the car. And, and Karen, uh, but he said, it's hot. I gave the guy some crack for it. I said, how hot is the car? Okay. And Karen, uh, he said, a couple of days. And okay. I said, cool. And I ran to the store, man, tried to go down there, try to come back. Okay. That's the truth. Okay. How'd you start the car? 
it was already started. But when you ran in the store, you had to turn no, it off. He gave me a, 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 a nail clipper. Nail clipper. Yeah. So those nail clippers in the car, that's how you started the uh, car. That's how I turned the car off. That's how you turned yeah. it off. And then and when then you got, I back, got back, in, back in, that's how I turned the bedroom off. Okay, and then what happened? And then y'all caught me. <laughs> okay. All right, hang tight, all right? All right. Can you grab that bag in there? Like I said, man, I'll stick to my word, man. You were cool, so I'll let you have a piece of chicken real quick, all right? All right man. You gotta be quick with it, because I got things to do, so get to eating. All right. He says uh, he got his a rock rental, which now he is admitting he didn't know it was stolen, that uh, this guy gave it to him, said the car's hot. That's what I was looking for, some kind of admission from him that the car was stolen, so it makes it stronger in court and the charges stick. Um, like I said, he did have the hot chicken with him, and uh, I'll stick to my word. I let him eat the chicken as long as he was cooperative and letting him eat his piece of chicken. Well, I work uh, graveyard, 9 o'clock at night to 7 in the morning in unincorporated East Pierce County. I love the shift. Working graveyard allows us to be a little more proactive towards the latter part of our shift because the call starts slowing down, gives us a chance to actually go out and catch bad guys, do the things that we were actually hired to do. Got a red Porsche up here, and the license plate's coming up on our hot sheet is stolen. So I'm going to light him up and see what he does. 398 County. 398. We're off of uh, Webster, pulled over. Felony stop in progress. Occupants of the vehicle, get your hands up. Do it now. Get your hands up. Get out of the vehicle. Don't reach down there. I will shoot. Get your hands up. Okay, stand up. Turn and face away from me. Turn and face away from me. Get your hands up. Back up to the sound of my voice. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Go get on the ground face down. I'm not laying in the dirt. Get on the ground. Do it now. What is going on? I'll explain that in just a minute. Get on the ground. I am on the ground. No, you're not. Lay down. Well, tell me what's going on here. Lay down. I'm not laying in the dirt. Turn and face away from me. No. He doesn't want to go along with the program, so be careful. You want to go ahead? Yep, go ahead. Turn and face away from me. Do it now. Go ahead, I got you. Can you tell me what to... Ow! You don't want to go along with the program there, pal? Then well, don't I'd, go along with the program. I'd like to know what the hell is going on. I told you, I'll explain that to you in just a minute, didn't I? Vehicle's clear, one in custody. Cancel the beeper. Cancel the beeper, vehicle's clear with one in custody. 2-15-4-9-2-2-16. Well, this is a stolen vehicle. It's on our hot sheet. Um, just happened to get behind it. Negative. Everybody else can uh, cancel, except maybe an Eastside car for transport. You're in possession of a stolen car. I'm going to give you an opportunity to be honest here and talk with me and tell me what's going on and what you know. Okay? You've been advised of your rights, correct? Yeah. Okay. Where'd you get this car? I got it from. Uh... Come on, member. Member, I don't want to lie. I just want the truth. Okay? Well, and this is your one chance. 
uh, folks call him uh, JP, and uh, he told me his name was Jim. And what else? You borrowing it? Did he give it to you? Did he sell it to you? He, he was selling it to me on payment. Mm -hmm. And well, how long have you been making payments on it? I just got it. How long ago? Well, yesterday. What kind of payments are you making on it? I gave him a thousand dollars down. You got a receipt for that? At home. Mm -hmm. So you got this from JP? Yeah. Yesterday yeah. and you're making payments on it? Yeah. You, you expect me to believe that? Well, why not? I mean, that's the truth. Because it's a, it's a newer, nicer Porsche, and it's not worth $3,000. And it's not worth somebody, some guy that you just know by initials isn't going to give this car to you without a title or without anything, any paperwork I showing it. I have a bill of sale and the registration. His name is James. Mm -hmm. And how long has he owned the car? Did you see a title with his name on it or a registration with his name on it? Yeah, the registration for the car. A registration for James? Yeah. And he's the guy you bought it from? Yeah. And you bought it from him last night? Yeah. Well, this car was reported stolen last night, OK? And you said you bought it from James, so something isn't adding up here. No, it certainly isn't. We're going to get him out. We're going to shine a light in his face so he can't see you. Okay? Oh, so you caught someone driving it? Yeah. Oh, where, where right. is he coming down this road here? Or did he, like, try to yeah. you guys? Yeah. No, he didn't try to elude us. You don't need. You don't know a guy by the name of uh, Doc. Well, he lives in the Lincoln. What's your name? No. Okay. Six, two, five. Nah, man. No man. You don't know him. There's no way I would know someone like that. You know that Lincoln Four. Who's gonna hang up on call back? So you don't know that guy at all. He has a no. problem with his roommate. Okay. okay. Well, you can uh, you can take your rig. You have some ID just so I know that you are. Yeah. James. My wallet in my car. Okay, this is what's going to happen. If, they, if the prosecutor chooses to charge him, you might have to testify that you did not uh, loan this guy your car, didn't give him permission to drive it, anything like that. That's fine, man. Okay, you have a problem with testifying about that? No, no way, man. The dude stole my car. Right on. That's the kind of stuff I like to hear, man. That's good stuff. All right, man. Thank you very you much. You betcha. You betcha. 132 in Bush. I've got him at gunpoint. Okay, we'll still send a code three. 